No countdown today. Countdown <laughs> at all? Apparently. What? Countdown at all, apparently. No, we no countdown died. at all. We're just right in it because I was I was late. <laughs> <laughs> you? You were late? I was making tea and then suddenly it was like oh, what 27 and I was like, oh god, okay. Whoops. <laughs> I thought Oopsie I had more time than that. Yeah, not even, not even dichotomy. Just go. Hello, Hi, amazing. amazing. Hello, dichotomy. My tea is not stirred enough. What can I use? This. Uh, I haven't even stirred my tea yet. Thank you for the reminder. I took a sip, and while it has sugar, it definitely didn't taste like it had sugar, so. <laughs> and I'm not meaning Hiya, sweet. Hiya, Nicole! Hello, Nicole. Yes. No that countdown true, dichotomy. dichotomy. You go. can claim the land if you so you choose. You did manage to do it. Dylan usually. Oh, or baked. It, so. You baked. You baked what? It, it said dichotomy baked. What? When did that happen? I read baked. I don't know where that happened. Uh, chat, please correct me if I'm having hallucinations. I don't see or anything not. that says baked. <laughs> No, you hoed, yeah. I don't I don't know where you baked. Why did I it said baked, baked on screen? It did say okay. baked on screen. Then it's then uh, then it's because of the way the cookie command is set up. That's why. Okay. Yeah. I knew I wasn't crazy. Yeah, yeah I'm also late because I was I was drawing a reference for Mars. Mostly self indulgent, but it's for Mars, so I can say that. Yeah, totally for Mars. <laughs> The reference a reference for, my... for one of our outcast boys? For or... all of our outcast boys. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, they do need updates. It has been about a year, has it not? Yep, yeah, it, it, it's it's with the mouth colors. <laughs> oh, very nice. Oh, dear. How, how finally... much did I fuck up the mouth oh, colors? Oh, you have done nothing wrong. In the sense <laughs> of that you had the colors you were given and you used them. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't use the colors incorrectly. It's more like Ori over here was lazy in telling you to change them and just change them herself. And then oh. recently has just really, really wanted to draw mouths. So, you know, two birds, one stone, huh? So we have updated mouth colors. And I it like means it. that they can be consistent because technically they they never had consistent mouth colors. They just had I Ori fumbling with it. I literally have been using Milano's mouth colors just for everybody. Which is going to be different as well. Yeah, it's all different now. <laughs> I, I'm sure they are. Ori, oh, Ori makes them just random, to be honest, when she corrects them. So they're all Ori slightly off one. every time. She, she swears it. Sure. It is the way the cookie crumbles. But... Indeed. As Ori takes a, a hand, continued hand break. Uh, what are we doing today? Today we are drawing the method, the steam method ring. Now, some of you might remember. I know Dichotomy remembers, but some other of you in chat, words, yes, might remember that we did a stream that was called Turning Monsters into Items. Yes. And essentially, you know, chat gave me an item. <laughs> How do I know that you know? Dichotomy. Is because this is because of you, you Dichotomy. It's because of you, you that this know. stream is happening. That's how I know you know. Exactly. And uh, one of those monsters and the item to go along with them was a method, specifically the steam method, and a chakram, or a ring blade, as laymans can call them. And Dichotomy actually made uh, words to go along with them. <laughs> and those words are specifically the abilities that go along with the the item. Now this here was the original design that I cooked up in, in about 15 minutes, you know, timer, <laughs> Ori timer and all that. Um, however, now that it's going to be a, a fully published thing uh, with the words that Dichotomy made, yes, the stats, the abilities, that dichotomy made. Uh, it has to. It has to be all gussied up and honestly completely remade because I like could do research this time and like look at more inspiration and and do a lot of stuff like that. Now it is still gonna have to be on this sort of dark. In short, 
Ori was able to make it better. Well, Ori hasn't started More yet, superior. so I hope that I will be making it Ori better. Will. What the hell? Oh, that's your cursor. Oh my god, I thought there was a bug on my screen. <laughs> Shut up, I haven't drank my tea yet. <laughs> but, drank tea all day. No. Um, <laughs> my my soothing throat tea. Ah, yes. I have decaffeinated uh, vanilla tea. Vanilla bean. Ooh, lovely. Oh my god, I'm gonna sneeze again. Hold on. I have lemon ginger with a crap ton of honey in it. Uh, throat still being... Meh? No, you know, throat not still being, but, um... I gotta talk a lot in my daily, day-to-day -day activities, you know, I, I got my clients next week, then I got my groups, then I have a presentation, and then I have stream with you guys, as well as Ace uh, Attorney yes. Acting Day, you know, I, yeah. I gotta keep- That is a lot. I gotta keep everything moist in there, I, I gotta keep everything working and finely tuned. Oh, thank you for the solidarity, Nicole. I'm actually gonna turn on my filter because <laughs> I'm dying. So... Uh, don't get sick now. You've almost made it to the end of the year! No, no, it is definitely allergies. I've had to pick my dog up a few times, so it is almost definitely allergies. Also being so sudden, you know. <laughs> mm. It is oh, cold, it's cold today. It's definitely getting there. We're at 44 degrees Fahrenheit, which is, it's I don't know what so it is. It's not so that you can't go outside. I don't uh, know what it is in, uh... About six degrees Celsius, seven degrees Celsius over here. Ugh, for you that just Celsius people. Well, zero is 32, so that makes sense. But um, my dog's name is Riley. And she's a cute, fluffy, I guess kind of fluffy, wispy <laughs> white dog. Yes, my name hey, is 44 is degrees Fahrenheit. Subscriber. I was talking before I got Mason's message, okay? I was responding to Nicole. But yeah, it's definitely allergies. And that is that. Uh, I was saying something else, and I forgot what it was. Oh, dang, Nicole. That's that's pretty cold. Now I'm, I'm gonna look oh. up that, but that's below freezing. 28 degrees Fahrenheit. That dang. definitely is. There's no very question. Very cold, very cold. 28. 28. Ooh. Yeah, we're, we're getting colder now. We've finally gotten to the point where it's, like, actually, like, getting cold. You're two today, two degrees Celsius. which is Holy 35 God. degrees. Okay. Yeah, we, we've actually been kind of warm this year. It's sad. Compared to that? Oh, yeah. Well, one of you's in Canada, so. <laughs> yeah, your, like, hardiness level is like a three, I think, dichotomy. So that's pretty, that's pretty, you get pretty cold there. So I'm not surprised. Our fall colors are, like, only pretty recent this year, so. Yeah, but they are gorgeous. Yeah, because we like, were actually wet. <laughs> yeah, like, holy crap, they actually look beautiful this last year. Last year, they like sucked. Last, oh, year last year, was I was so, so goddamn sad. impressed. At last how year was so looked. sad. Last this year had year, a horrible so year. bright and vibrant, and there's so much variety. Like, my, I am living for this. My professor in college for trees, so my tree professor, the man, the myth, the legend, he is such a tree guy that he is actually the guy that the weather stations up near my college call to have him predict how the fall colors are going to be, when the fall colors are going to be, to go on okay, the news station. Okay, that's actually amazing. That's, that's, they call him, that's my <laughs> tree professor. The man, the myth, the legend. That is a flex. Okay, now I have to check if he still has YouTube videos. Because if he does, we will definitely show him. Oh. Uh. He made YouTube videos, but they're, like, notoriously difficult to find for some reason. I wonder what oh, that is. Here it is. Beautiful oh. trees with Don Leopold, the man, the myth, the legend. Oh, incredible. Yeah, if you want to learn about trees, he's a great guy. If you also like alcohol... He also talks about alcohol. <laughs> he likes to make trees into alcohol. If you like alcohol, there you go. Yeah. He also doesn't like walnuts in um in pesto. Don't insult him that way. Yes. <laughs> yes. What a His character. name is 
Professor Don Leopold, and you can literally look up Don Leopold on the internet, and very early it comes up. The YouTube channel is ESF TV. The videos are like 12 years old, but the man, the myth, the legend. The great. man who made Ori into the woman she is today. He always had a white Halloween as a kid. Honestly, that sounds terrible dichotomy in the sense of that, how do you go trick-or-treating? Your costume is covered well, up by you, your cold you go weather gear. Treating, but you either have to wear pajamas under your costume or you cover everything in a yeah, snowsuit. Yeah, like that's really coat. sad. Like in a good year, Halloween is warm enough that if you go at a good time of day, you can wear whatever you want. You know? If you get lucky. These last few years has been kind of cold. I was just looking at all the thing. We have never had a. We've uh, never had a white. Hold Halloween. on, hold on. We did. I. Uh, yeah, it did didn't. snow. Yeah. After we Sandy, snow, it but snowed. It, That's a white but it Halloween. Did not stick, but it didn't stick. No, no, it did. After it Sandy, did? it did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just remember the not trees well. being down on my street <laughs> and not being able to go anywhere. Costume two sizes too big in anticipation that you wear the snowsuit underneath. Damn. Man. Well then. No, I'm I'm yes. going for accuracy here. The I don't one want Halloween... the snowsuit slash pajamas ruining my ensemble. That's what I'm saying. The one Halloween that was the closest to being a white Halloween was after a superstorm that devastated our area. <laughs> Yeah. So it, Halloween was unofficially canceled that year. We still had Halloween on my block, but we, Again, we kept it the very kind of you know, like we, like it, it was, was it was a hit or miss. Pretty funny. We had a tree come down on our street, and one of my neighbors has one of those half moon kind of driveways. You know, it, mm, it starts mm -hmm. on one end and then it loops and goes around. Well, this neighbor was kind enough to let people, I, I mean, it was Halloween, you gotta like let people walk around, but everyone basically used their driveway as the street to get around the tree that oh was Oh my God, that's tree. amazing though. <laughs> and it was incredible. That, uh, that, that felt like community. <laughs> yeah, really, really. We all banded together to make sure the kids weren't depressed. Yeah, I didn't we have Halloween We were all really that bummed year. that Halloween was gonna be canceled. It definitely I, really I didn't did happen on my block that year, I feel. Even though we had power, you didn't have power, did you? We did not. Yeah. No, we we definitely had our power knocked out for a while. I actually slept through Sandy. <laughs> I literally took a nap, and when I woke up, the storm was so far. Damn. I, uh... Don't worry, I'll make sure I'll see the next one. <laughs> Yeah, we lost power, but it was mostly I, slept through overnight. Everybody else I lost power for upwards of two weeks. <laughs> we have not had that kind of storm since, but we oh, definitely no. had some wild storms over the summer. And the last time, there was a storm with a hurricane warning attached to it was, I think, two summers ago. And I was working my retail job that day. Ooh. We got called in. It's literally well, just nice me and a select couple other people in the store. And then this one woman comes in. Now, it is torrential downpouring in there. I, I, I am talking sheets of rain outside. You can't see a foot in front of your face. Like, it is bad. This woman comes in. She's literally the only person shopping in this place. And we're just, like, watching her from where we are. We see her make a beeline for the furniture section. She comes back, and her cart has rugs, chairs, bedspreads, and we're just all standing there like, Ma'am, you picked today to do some interior design? Like, today? Of all days! You could have just waited until tomorrow for the storm to be over. But you woke up this morning, looked out your window at this torrential downpour, and said... Yes, this is a good day to A, go driving, and B, go shopping for non-essential. Like, the people who are there for food and water and stuff. Like, we had so many people not coming into the store, but doing drive-up orders to get, like, uh, bottles of water. Like, crates of bottles of water. So that I understand, because, like, you think you're going to lose power and stuff. I get that. Bedsheets and couches? <laughs> 
I can't. It still baffles me. What are your priorities? Please, let me know. Dichotomy's mom slept through a tornado as a kid, and they didn't wow. wake her up. Her family didn't wake her up and move her somewhere else safe. They just peeked in on her every once in a while. Oh my god! I mean, apparently she lived, so, you know. Works. Worked out, Did I guess. Did she die? Yes. But I lived. But I lived. That quote will never not be funny. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it's too good. So, Dichotomy, you'll like this. I'm actually going with a little bit of a pun in my uh, Steam Mephit ring. And that pun is the fact that it, um... It's kind It's kind of got some steampunk vibes to it. Haha. -ha. See? See what uh, I did there? Yeah. You know, we are here for those steampunk vibes. That is the, that is the pun. Give him, give him. Yo, know, I'm glad you like that. <laughs> okay, this part is being difficult for me though. So let's flip it this way again. You can do it, Ori. We believe in you. I know I can do it. I just gotta do it, you know. But yeah, so I really liked this design of a chakram, where it kind of had the handle in the middle, and then the two blades kind of. Not fully making a full ring because I Ooh, felt like that that, that gave very steam vibes, and then yeah, and then I thought, ooh, steampunk, that's really like a fun little little you know nod there. So that is that is where we're going with it. That is what I'm doing with it, and I'm trying to make it kind of swoopy without compromising where your hand would be. Mm. Very crucial. Yeah. That's 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 the difficult point there. Love to give your characters pun names. I mean, Dylan gives a lot of a lot of pun names to his characters, so it's definitely a shared love. And I mean, we 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 ace attorney, so, you know. <laughs> oh yeah. We love that. The game just gets us. Indeed. It really, it really does. Yeah, our, our characters aren't really punny names. They're just based off the... Their animals' oh, taxonomy. We, we went into excruciating detail about this We last did, we night. did. I could talk about it forever. And uh, ever. I know. I could too because it's just it, it's such an important part of our characters. Okay, let's do C V T Scoop Wap. Scoobity boop boop. Scoobity wap warp. Oh no. Okay. So we have to fix this now. Now I can see it a little a little better. We can kinda lift this inward. This is a darker thing in the same. Shared info in the couch. Oh, about the the item? Uh, yes, you can check the couch Discord to see what exactly Dichotomy wrote for the Mephit yes. ring. And not to plug something else, but this is something very cool that Ori did. Uh, oh. I'm wondering where the most appropriate place to ah. post this would be, though. Uh, for you, Mars, you have administrative p privilege, so you can put it in cafe, you can put it in couch. But wherever you want. I just want It's just like I let I let place. Dylan put it anywhere. Okay, put it in put it in cafe. It deserves to be shown to everyone. It does deserve to be in the cafe. Counter seating it is. Yeah, Dylan to... Dylan posts his Warhammer stuff not in the museum, even though that's where it should go, but you know. He's got pretty privilege, so. And administrator <laughs> privilege. Well, it's nice to know I have administrative privilege. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll get You to also privilege. have pretty privilege, but I think if Dylan <laughs> heard me say that, he'd be very jealous. He already that's jokes that- kind of pretty privilege. <laughs> he already jokes that you and very I go different. on dates, and that's our tea time. <laughs> yeah, no, platonic pretty privilege. Yeah. <laughs> Boyfriend, girlfriend pretty privilege. There is a difference. <sighs> <laughs> oh, 
I yes, would use that as a spell. That sounds like something a bard would have. It, yeah, well, that's like, like um, if a rowdy patron comes and he's like, "Oh, I know this guy's gonna ruin it, the performance." I count, I cast counter seating. <laughs> he can't join. <laughs> your cat, your cat is part of the Christmas decorations dichotomy. I'm just saying. Yeah, that's, that's just something that's just you, part you of have it. to accept. Yeah, exactly. What was I gonna say? Yeah, exactly. The Christmas cat. There are okay, Dichotomy. You inspired me when I was looking when when you when you sent me that picture of the cork, um, the cork, the nut corker, whatever you called it. Um, huh? Yeah, he <laughs> he's getting a cork nutcracker. If to date or to get privileges, Dylan gets a lot of privileges. There's no question. Mars also gets the privileges. Technically, I haven't done high tea for Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't tell him that though. <laughs> He'll get high tea eventually when I when I live with him. He just lives so far away. I mean, you don't have to date Ori. Clearly, you could just be her good friend. Yeah, there's there's also making you know writing the comic that I draw for. You know, that's like that's like a big one. Yeah, that that definitely gets you some bonus yes. privileges. I've so noticed. So in counter seating, I gave Mars her birthday present today. Okay. Yes. And you can check it out there, but I will show it on stream as well. It, it <laughs> the way I I was just it, no joke, guys. I am not exaggerating. I was literally so blown away. This is like the most thoughtful thing anyone has ever done for me. Where is it? This one. So <laughs> I, I no no lie. So I was so touched when I saw this. <laughs> Mars wrote for those who don't know, Mars writes fan fiction, and Mars wrote three fan fictions. For uh, 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 God, Trigun Stampede for uh, yes. Vashwood. Specifically Vashwood, and because I, I have a problem. I decided uh, just because I also like Vashwood and like the fix and get to read the fix all the time that I made cover art for them. So Mars had seen the cover art, okay? Once Mars posts it on, uh, or is go about to post it on uh, uh, AO3, I make cover art for it and all that sort of stuff. And on top of that, of course, we made the Moreau's Turnabout AU. And so what I did is I painstakingly formatted them, and it was way harder than it sounds, guys. Saddle stitching a book format-wise, it makes me understand why formatting is its own job for a lot of people. Like, oh god, layout design. Literally the most awful thing. Um, ever. Like, holy and, shit, I cannot express enough. And then I, I had it printed out was. at Staples, and then I cut them all out because Staples doesn't bleed to the edge. Excuse me, so I have to print it on paper smaller than the paper, and then cut it out so that it reaches the edge of the thing. And then fold them, and then stitch. You can see on, on a couple of them, you can probably see that here the saddle stitching that I did for all that. <laughs> and so Zoom. now Mars has Enhanced yeah, really though. the enlargement. No plop. <laughs> it's icky to reference. I'm sorry, the redirect <laughs> went up days ago. How it could is. I not reference you came that? As soon as you saw Vashwood. Well this is this is the Vashwood enthuse. And yeah. And then on top of that it's a um, print. on top of that you have to like there's a set amount of a multiple of pages that you have to have to ha like to do saddle stitching, right? And so there's like would have been blank areas. And what I did is I put absolute, um, I put other art. So like I've drawn a fair amount of Vash and Wolfwood art, and I would put those on the backs in the blank pages. Um, the Moreau's turnabout has um, like the character designs on the inside covers, and then on top of that. It has our little folding planets thing, and it says, like, written by Mars, art or illustrated by Ori. And then it has, it says the whole thing, lore of Mars and Orikami art. Yeah. And then it has, like, 2023, because that's when they were all made. I am the top tier. You cannot beat me it at really gift giving is. dichotomy. And the reason why I, is because I all my gifts trying, are like this. I can't keep up. <laughs> all my gifts are like this. What is the Christmas gift? I'm, it's not a spoiler because Dylan already knows. The Christmas gift is ideally going to be the full watery grave digital, a digital watery grave poster. 
Oh, holy shit. And then, of course, print it out. I, no, I believe oh, that they're good, dichotomy. dichotomy. I don't doubt that they're good. We I'm do just not saying. Doubt that. I am a crafty art person, so I have the one-up of being incredibly able to relatively easily make she is custom stuff. Able to accomplish things. Yeah, I, I have the one up there, right? It's like it's like Dylan, who you know he does models and stuff. So he he actually did a really good gift. His friend from work is also into Warhammer. And I do still have the tarot backlog. Those are more of like a birthday thing usually. Mars just technically doesn't have any more long form campaign characters, so I kind of skipped her this year. Yeah, I did this I, instead. I've run out. Um, but I did for Dylan and and Doug. Um, I did theirs because they have more long form campaign characters than Mars does. It's just math. Mars came in later it, it's <laughs> to our group. Math. I joined but, the group and then late, and I have used all my instead, characters instead. I decided to do for Christmas instead of making an individual for everybody. I know that Dylan has been chomping at the bit for this poster uh, that I just haven't done yet. And so uh, I might, I, sh I should be able to show that real quick while I'm continuing to take my hand break. Uh... I think I have seen the draft for this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me. Curio campaigns. D&D. Uh, God. It's too many freaking... Oh, posters. Every time you say that, I want to come and organize your files. Okay, what you don't understand is that they are like 90% organized. And this section is the one per is like the 10% that's like organized, but in three different places. So there's like multiples of it, you know, it, it, that's it. I got you. It's, it's pretty organized. But also remember by organized, I mean like there's... 50 billion file folders, you know, like, because oh. it's very organized. So this is so the poster cool. uh, concept that I will probably redraw a little bit. But <laughs> that is not what I do, dichotomy. But if you do that, it, yeah, you know, you're correct. But yeah, so this is the concept art for it. I do have to do a little bit of tweaking because it's definitely like, I'll probably kind of redraw over it. I love and how then, Avisha um, is just like chilling there. She's like yeah, totally she's chilling. into the boat ride. She's this having a good Alar, time. This is Alar. This is Mars's character. This is Doug's character. Dylan was the DM, so this is our other table mate. I don't oh, have an, I don't have a problem with my desktop ever. I hate putting things on my desktop. If I'm being completely honest, so. I only have important stuff on my desktop. Yeah. everything else, it's my access, desktop it's is ninety percent like uh, applications. You know. Yeah. But. Yeah, so that's the goal. That's just how we were taught to use computers. Because I am behind. Um, that's like the that's but that's the second most recent long burn campaign. Because then th after that I have to do post haste, <laughs> which I still haven't done yet. But yeah, so I kind of skipped Mars's tarot card this year because she technically still has I think it's two more short campaign char micro campaign characters. I think it's just two. Three, I'm sorry, it's three. She has three micro campaign characters. Oh um, yeah, Almar joined the lineup. No, 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 it's not Almar because that campaign's not even over yet. It's Jolie, oh, right. Danica, and uh, and and Thaddeus, Thaddeus. Thaddeus, yeah, Thaddeus. Yeah. So it's them three, but they're all micro campaign characters. And so I kind of skipped it this Anwi's, year. Anwi's uh, campaign hasn't been wrapped up yet. Yeah, either. so he's not in the list either. That's how it works. Ah, uh, you know, I mean, it, it works, it works, that got me. Molly, that's her current campaign character, which would be the next long-form campaign character, but I don't make tarot Hopefully cards- Hopefully that is not ending anytime soon. Yeah, Please. but I only make tarot cards once we the don't campaign want to die is tomorrow. over or the character is fully dead slash retired because I want to have the most information on making the card because the card is supposed to be like the legendary version of the characters, right? So it's like if I yeah. didn't wait, I'll sure There's usually some have... kind of reference to big story beats, items yeah. that were important to the characters, or like exactly. key items, key moments. Or like outfits or weapons that like became very integral to them and everything like that. So it's like if I started right away, Dylan's character, Ostrogor, he wasn't originally a, 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 a 
a phantom rogue. He didn't have the gem hunt, and the gem hunt was redesigned within that time as well. And he wouldn't have had yeah. the dragon egg. So that's like three things in that, that whole thing. That would have been a lot of that difference. wouldn't have been there. Holy crap. Yeah. So uh, you know, in uh, Mars's, it's the plant baby and the uh, the letter opener. Those are you know story beats. So Molly has a long way to go. But she oh, is yeah. drawn, because I do make a point to Miss try to make Molly tokens. Molly will definitely take some time. Not because of Ori, but because we don't want the campaign to end. Yeah, not, not, not anytime soon. If Miss Molly dies, I will cry. I will cry. Sadly, no one else will cry. I, Only you I've and me. Just, I've made her so cute. You can't kill the innocent child character. Casimir, though, mm, getting on my nerves. <laughs> Casimir's just kind of doing his own thing. I don't know how I feel about the Bone Croupier. Bone Croupier is starting to give me bad vibes. He's giving me bad vibes. Not starting. He has bad vibes. I just don't know what to trust anymore. Okay. I want to put a gear here. But I don't know how. You might if we want you to. Might what? A pretty cry. <laughs> ah, well, thank you for that. What if we, what if you're one of those dignified criers and can only get out one tear? Well, that that's just eighteen cents. Well, it's not much of a profit. Never said it was gonna be. I really turn on those waterworks. Collect by the pound, not by the tear. Oh God! Sorry, that's... ounce. It's like that's a lot of water. I I don't think there's that much water in your body. Like you know, you're a lot of water. <laughs> but now imagine trying to cry all tragic. of that out. It Miss would Molly's be very tragic. Would be very tragic. I bet it could wring out that many tears. <laughs> Trust me, if I had to do that, the performance would be kicked up to the umpteenth degree. It's the British you, pound. You thought her giving a eulogy for her dead friend was sad? Just you wait. <laughs> candy Ann. <laughs> candy. You're Candy Ann now, Dichotomy. You cannot take it back. This is your lot in life. This is your purpose. Candy Ann. You're a Candy Ann now. Ounce. Those exist, don't they? No, it's it's uh, milliliters or liters. Oh, they're well, they're on the bit. they're on the the annoying one that we tried to change to that we didn't because uh, we're lame. Yeah, we are lame. I have never heard that song before, Nicole. I want to think of the song Miss Molly had a deli who was six six six. I know. Uh, it reminds me of Miss Mary Mac Mac Max. Yeah, that's the one coming to my mind. That's the too. one that seems remember. But silver buns, buns, buns all down her back, back, yep. back. We had some weird songs growing up. Oh yeah. Jump rope songs. Yeah, jump rope songs. Is definitely. that what they were? Miss Mary Mac was definitely a jump rope song. I never song. learned it as a jump rope song. I never learned any of these songs jumping rope. I went to like <laughs> camp, right? Never sleep away camp because I I'm a I'm a I'm a parents girl. I didn't want to not sleep in my own house. <laughs> and that's where I learned all these songs. Was like making lanyards and stuff. Mmm. That's always a fun. <laughs> so you guys are literally singing work songs as you're yeah. writing. No, these. literally a hundred, a hundred percent. I loved making lanyards. Out in the fields, threading the beads. No, not Think the beads. The ones beads. where you like fold it under and you like make them like in squares. Oh, is that that weird loopy one that you can never start yourself? You yeah, that they're really hard to start yourself. You. Yeah, and then you yeah. figure it out, and then I I'm the one those. that starts all of them. Yeah. They're not big enough ropes dichotomy. That's the problem. You need to make more lanyard if you're going to have that big a rope. I never used a jump rope. I, I skipped through a hula hoop. I cheated. Because I, I could never get the jump rope to move how I wanted it to move. These don't do what I want. It just flops sadly on the ground. 
<laughs> I was fine. I could jump rope. Not anything fancy, but like I, I, I could do I it. I never got like a rhythm going like really? good jump ropers get. No, oh, I was I pretty was good like, at jump okay, rope, like regular on the ground, jumping. and then I step over it. Then I bring it up over my head, plops it on the ground, then I step over it. I don't. That sounds like walking rope, Mars. I don't know. <laughs> I was bad at jumping rope. Are you still bad at jumping rope? You know, I haven't tried it in a while. You should try it. I'm so curious now. Well, now I have to go buy a jump rope. Because <laughs> <laughs> I not definitely expensive. don't have one anymore. Amazon! Other people was tricky, although... I never I tried to jump rope with other people, just field solo. Day. I do remember field day with the big jump rope. We tried yeah, that, that a was fine. Times. I was always fine with that. Old. That was fine. I definitely preferred tug of war. That was my preferred rope game. Uh, I liked the hula hoop. I did well at the hula hoop. Hula hoop was fun. The shoe fetch was also a good one. I don't think you've jumped rope from. I can't remember the last time I jumped rope, but I would be impressed if I I couldn't jump rope. I never okay, found jump Ari, roping we, very we hard. We know what we have to do next time we hang out. We're jumping <laughs> rope. <laughs> I might have a jump rope. I definitely have normal rope, if I'm being honest, you know, which is literally just what jump rope I is. Mean, that's what they used back in the day, so why yeah. can't we use it? Exactly. Well, that's always a little bit of the fear, Nicole. Like, what if you try to jump and your feet just don't go high enough and the rope catches you and you just splat on the pavement? Those, These are irrational fears. You, you say irrational. Yes. I fell and scraped my knees quite a bit. So <laughs> I was very well acquainted with the concrete. And I didn't want to be further acquainted. Ooh, let's do like... We gotta get the swirls in here somehow. Hi, Dragon Craze. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Dragon Craze. How we are, are you? Refining one of the D&D items. Well, redesigning. And editing. Yeah. Moving around. And just chilling. We're just having a blast. Tonight. We talked about how amazing of a gift giver Ori is, and nobody can beat her. <laughs> yeah, no, literally, no one can beat Ori. Ga game over, guys. Ori Go has home. a leg Ori, up. Ori wins. Ori wins, <laughs> hands down. Uh, yeah, or Ori has a big advantage, though. Don't. don't oh, that's what Ori. I was going. Are you a whipper snapper, part. though, Nicole? Hmm? Mm. That's the question. Are you the whipper snapper, or are you the whipper snapped? Mmm. Ooh, a dance convention dragon craze? That's interesting. That's cool. What's that like? Hmm. I like the gear Ugh, teeth, but man. not enough. Hmm. So we're gonna If you're instead... not feeling the vibe, maybe it's not the way to go. No, no, no. We're in, we're gonna make it more steampunk in a different. Oh, way. Obag most definitely would. That that's her go-to word. Everyone she meets is a whippersnapper. Well, not everyone. Well, Edgeworth is definitely the exception to the rule. Ugh, pain every time. But we've time. established she's very pretty, so. Oh yeah, incredibly it's pretty. Evil. West Coast, West Coast Swing. Swing. Very Ooh. nice. That's really cool, Dragon Craze. Workshops, competition, social dancing. That sounds like a full convention to me, Dichotomy. That sounds super active, too. That's going to be one heck of a weekend. I hope you have fun. The workshops, are they uh, like uh, dance classes? I see what I'm doing wrong. Okay. I actually just bought a uh, salsa class this past week. <laughs> that was very fun. Already oh, exhausted. Man. But it's only day one, Dragon Craze. I thought Craze. it was day two. Oh, is it? Oh, nope. Just the first day. Not the first day of a weekend. Yeah. I, Ori, I know how to okay. read. Okay. Do you? Because uh, I don't. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're questioning the writer if she knows how to read? I would certainly hope she does. I don't know. We we, we all fail in Ace Attorney real bad. I'm just saying. 
Yeah, but that's on the spot reading. No one can do that. I, fa I, I, was, I was failing really bad. I'm editing the Ace Attorney video. And God, I was like, constantly. <laughs> yeah, really, really bad. Uh, I, I know I had moments too where I was like, Oh, the judge, I wait, what the hell, what, what am I saying? I mean, yeah, I spelled it out. I spelled it out for you in that one. Oh, yeah, because I... My brain was just not working that night. Okay. I don't Cus Customony like... is still the best. Yeah, I don't that think we're great. ever eating Customony. Customony. This is not Ooh. what I want. Four levels of workshops? Must be sleeker than that. Ooh, what are, are those... we... Are those still dance related, Dragon Craze? That sounds uh different. Learning the alphabet, forming words, making sentences, poetry and prose. This sounds very involved. This sounds not like dance unless these are also dance words and I don't know swing enough. Analogy. Oh, okay, okay. I see. Alphabetic analogy. I see. I see. That's what you were doing. Ah. So, I, I'm imagining translated, it's learning the steps, synchronizing the steps, synchronizing the steps to other steps, doing the entire dance. Maybe. <laughs> this is a very rudimentary interpretation. Brains on only brain part. so much. Nope, I wasn't even close. Okay. Well, <laughs> my dance lessons have okay. failed me then. That wouldn't work very well. Because that's essentially how we learned how to dance in uh, my dance class. She always broke it down to like the basic steps. Then we learned one part of the dance. Then we put as much together as we could. And then eventually it was just the whole entire dance. Just don't like how not smooth. Hmm. What can we do here? Nope, that's not what I wanted, actually. BBT. Good down. Come on. Okay, now you're working. Oh, there we go. But not how I want yet. So let's do hmm. this, and let's so do... So what are you imagining here, Ori? What are you trying to achieve? It needed to... It needs to be smoother. It's not as smooth as I want it to be. Okay. Like the pen stroke needs to be smoother? No. Or... <laughs> the shape needs to be more symmetrical. Ah... I want it to have, like, a flow to it. That looks better. Oh, interesting, Dragon Craze. Yeah, I'm assuming that, like, yeah, how we learn partner dances in our, like, high school dance class. Yeah. Oh, jeez, okay. partner dances. It was, like, <laughs> all girls. <laughs> it was literally all girls. <laughs> I think there was one dude who was okay. there. Okay, I remember this incredibly in vividly. In school. I remember this incredibly vividly. I was in marching band, and I was not in normal marching band. I was in drumline. And in drumline, um, it was mostly guys. And there was a whole point where, like, the, the drum master, he was, like, talking... And I knew him, like, he went to our middle school and, and all this sort of stuff, so I knew him. And he was talking to the freshman, which was my age at that time, about what gym class to take. And he was saying how you should take, and it's like all guys, right? He's like, you should take dance because you get to see all the girls <laughs> in the dance. Like, none of them, all the girls take dance. And so you could go and you could watch them. And I'm just like... This is weird advice. <laughs> this is very sussy advice. But then there were like no guys ever in dance anyway. <laughs> it wasn't worth it enough. 
but I vividly have that memory. Okay, how do I sweep this back around? Boys are gross. Boys are mostly gross, yeah. D Dylan is Dylan is surprisingly acceptable. <laughs> Did we lose Mars? No, I'm still here. Oh, he's just so quiet sometimes. I was drinking tea! Oh, that was a long drinking of tea. He was paid by the so dance teacher to say that. <laughs> that would have been funny. Ooh. I remember that dance class being very fun. Oh, yeah. The one dance that I will always remember is the Newsies. The Newsies dance. dance. <laughs> one, because we were actually taken to go see it on Broadway, which was really cool for a class field trip. But then also, I nearly dislocated my shoulder doing that dance. That's hilarious dichotomy. Mars, how could you? What happened? I, how... <laughs> I was about to say, you're saying it's hilarious? I almost dislocated my shoulder. No. <laughs> the, yeah, no, this is very true. This is very true. But the unfortunate part in dudes, the unfortunate part is that they, they don't learn how to shake them in dance class. Every once in a while, there was this one guy in our, in our high school that totally needed to be like a Broadway dancer. He was in all of the plays. And he was I just. I think I know the guy you're You know exactly about. who I'm it talking about. It started with a G, right? Yeah, it was the one guy. He was older than us. It was the one guy. Okay. And he was in every single musical at the school. And he was just I'm pretty top sure tier he went doing to like middle leaps school and was also in every single and production. Doing like there all this too. sort of stuff. And he was top tier. Uh, but otherwise. He took everything so seriously. If he's not on Broadway right now, I would be so shocked. I know. So shocked. It would be so shocking. He was like, so good. he was born to be on he the was stage. He was so good. <laughs> well, I guess the guys are just gonna have to dance with each other. And put and put aside those unnecessary feelings for another day. Yeah, this guy was definitely not obnoxious either. He was just really good. <laughs> okay. Guys? I need to share something really quick. Mm -hmm. My mom and my dad are playing a video game together. I'm pretty sure they're playing Minecraft. And I think my mom has just taken control of the uh, keyboard because I keep hearing like little screams every now and then, which means a creeper just blew up on her. Oh my God. So, it shocked me for a second until I figured out where it's coming from. I keep hearing like little, little like ass in the background. Oh my God. It's so cute. <laughs> okay. Oh, see, dichotomy, when they're obnoxious, they're not fun to be around. Like, not... He was not a snooty theater kid. He he didn't try to, like, show you up or... I say, I, oh, I know what stage right means and you do Like, not like that kind of... Kind of deal. He, he was actually nice. Yeah. Not like I interacted with him outside of it, but it, no one ever complained about him. <laughs> and honestly, as a theater kid, that's what you want. No one to complain about you. <laughs> okay. uh, poor theater kid. It's already an uphill battle as it is. This is finally coming together. <laughs> so oh, wow, it. Dragon Craze. What a okay, so you learned how to do a turning left side into a lasso. What dance is that a part of? Swing. Wasn't it all swing? It's all swing? Okay, I it's just wanted to make sure before I it's the West Swing competition or something. West Coast the... Swing. It's swing. I thought that was just the name of the convention. I, I, it's 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 swing. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Oh my god. You, so you know how it's called New York Comic Con, and yet anime all, always makes its way yeah, but, into but, there. But, or anime Boston and comic stuff always makes no, its no, no, way no, no. into that. So you know what's interesting Sometimes about those It's not things? always what it says on the tin. You know what's interesting about comic conventions and anime conventions, while similar, I've learned recently, are surprisingly different. You don't find nearly as much things like Dungeons and Dragons and that sort of thing at anime conventions. There's always a little anime in comic conventions because manga is, you know, a comic. Like, they're very similar that way. But when you go to anime conventions, you definitely have a lot less of, like, Dungeons and & Dragons and TTRPG stuff. You know, superheroes. Like, it's a lot less of that. And it's much more solely anime. 
That's what I recently learned. <laughs> oh god, it's so hot in here. <laughs> I just heard my mom say I have to build a bed in the middle of a storm. <laughs> God, I'm like I'm interacting with you guys, and then I got their yeah, commentary makes sense, like in my Chris. left ear right now. <laughs> well, yeah, it works. It works. Okay, I've lost the steampunk for this, which I don't want to fully lose. That's the problem. But I'm losing it slowly. I like the swoosh now, though. It came full circle. That's why she came to buy the sheets. Uh, there it is. Wait, why that did we woman, buy sheets? That woman in the storm came to buy the sheets and rugs because they had to build a bed. Oh. It came full circle. But it's um, it's not Ooh, a Minecraft. Nice thing. dragon craze. Are they are oh. they just normal colors or are they funky very, colors? Very very nice. I have to ask. It's very important to me. Okay, I really like this sort of vibe. How do I make this fit into what I have here? By cutting it out like this. Hello, just woke up. What a drawing. We are drawing. We. I am drawing. <laughs> the Mephit Steam Ring. Which is a thing that I did on a stream of making monsters into items that Dichotomy then made stats and stuff for. And that now I am redesigning to actually go with the stats. Oh, okay. Hold on. We're doing something hopefully kind of cool. This is what I really want to do. is make a part of this like transparent -y. because it's called the transparent method steam ring so that's kind of has the core there so what if I make it so like this part like that maybe no translucent okay i'm sorry you can't see all the way through it you can just see some light through it <laughs> <laughs> my bad it's not opaque <laughs> she's doing her best <laughs> We have that. Ooh. Ooh, in the fridge door. Yeah, I no, I that's that's. I know, I know you're not shoehorning me into anything, Dichotomy. I'm using your thing as inspiration, though. Oh, it's the neck corker. Ah, <laughs> nice. I did not. Oh, I gotta see look this at the head. shoes. water. I left it downstairs. What do you mean hot? My radiator's on and I sit directly in front of it. <laughs> oh, well that's that's just unfortunate. It is just unfortunate. That is highly unfortunate. Ooh, they are a pretty color. Hmm. I'm still trying to find it. Why can't I find it? Because, Refrigerator uh, door? I believe you are in the wrong Discord still, Dragon Craze. I will send you the link to the proper Discord. I will at you at it. Oh, I see. We have Ooh, a those new are nice Discord shoes. Because of very fancy. Things. Congratulations. So here, use yeah, this link. That was a rather unfortunate day for us. I think that also happened on the first day uh, semester started. 
So that was wild. <laughs> yeah, okay. I need to back away from my heater a second. <laughs> Poor Ori is just oh, melting. I really am. I'm... Like, my desk goes over the heater just because there's really no other better place in my room for it, you know? It's very, very hot. And now I'm very, very hot. <sighs> September 10th was the first day of your semester. It happened... The, the hacking I'm itself happened before sure. that. Like a month before that. Let me see. Ow. You did it, Dragon Craze. You made it over. Maybe, Welcome. Maybe it was before. Honestly, so guys, grad school is weird. When grad you're doing grad weird. school, you don't, at, at least in my program, you don't get summers off. So I went from fall semester, you know, starting fresh, having, you know, a decently average length uh, winter break, which was very nice. Little did I know that spring break, uh, not spring break, spring semester would come in like a truck. We'd get a week off before summer semester started. And then between that, we had, I think it was six weeks for the first day of class again. Because we did have, well, okay, so we did wrap up meetings like third week of August so classes ended the week before that so yeah we had the rest of August and then boot camp started again I believe the second week <laughs> of September I specifically yeah, didn't do grad school figure, figure four or five weeks roughly <laughs> ooh what are you going for Dragon Craze I know it was in the midst of a bunch of other chaos dichotomy. I, I think the days are just blending together for me, which, which is rather unfortunate. I think I need to do more word puzzles or something to keep my memory in check. It's <laughs> so like I said yesterday, the only brain cells I have left are for the comic and for school. It's, it's becoming an issue. <laughs> But she can't give up those comic brain cells, so I'm trying to convince her to give up the oh, school ones, but, you know. I wouldn't dream of giving up the comic brain cells. <laughs> the, the comic brain cells contain my writing abilities, my character abilities, my world building abilities, and now my paint uh, program abilities. Clip, oh. Clip Studio, that's it. I had oh, so no, much there fun goes that brain cell. making callers yesterday stream. That oh, so we fun. so have to do that again. We will definitely be doing that again. Ooh, MBA with a concentration in CS. Ooh, okay, okay. And then English PhD. Ooh. Dang. I'm not cutting out the anime brain cells dichotomy. You can't make me. Those, those tie into the writing brain cells. They're all related. Yeah, you can't get rid of the anime ones. <laughs> I'm, I'm too inspired. What do you mean, no? Okay, like that. See, why is that not it's symmetrical anymore? Wait, it's a good thing to cut out the anime brain cells? Or are you saying leave the anime brain cells, cut out the other ones? No. I could watch them all over but again. But then you could have people die again for the first time. Yeah, and then I'll be in pain and sad. Not worth it. I already rewatch lots of stuff she on my does. own. She does. She does. She rewatches okay. more stuff than I rewatch, if I'm being honest. And I Guys, thought I rewatched a lot of stuff. I rewatched Trigun Stampede at least five times. And that and only just and came out this year. Four, four of those times was after it came out. I loved it that much. Um, Megalobox is one I watch at least once a year, usually around a time when I just need a, a little boost to my uh, sanity. Just like a little encouragement. 
no one's taking tomorrow away from you. You know, that kind of thing. <laughs> um, what else do I rewatch? I rewatch Promare a lot. Mm. You know, that that's kind of become my one to watch around both Pride season and just like around December because that's when I first saw it. So it's nice to have. Uh, what's another one I rewatch? I don't rewatch Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood because it, it's a bit too long to really squeeze into a rewatch. So long. <laughs> I've rewatched Yuri on Ice a couple times. Uh, that that's become these. my uh, default Valentine's Day anime. Although this year I'm thinking of switching it to uh, Sasaki and Miyano. Miyamo. Mi Miyamo. I don't remember the other guy's name, but uh. Sasaki to me, yeah, oh. I'll look it up later. Oh, uh, you know, um, it'd be a I'm good one though. Given. Ah, oh, yes, but pain. But it's good in the end. I know it's good in the end, but pain. Also, Sasaki is one I haven't seen. Okay, there is, there is another interesting one that's coming out. Uh, winter season actually. It's called Cherry Magic. Basically, what happens is this guy has the power to read minds. And he works with this other uh, office worker who he's just like, oh, yeah, he's a good guy. And he's kind of handsome. Like, he's chill. I like him. They end up in that classic, uh, like, push against a wall kind of setup. So when he touches someone, he can read their minds. And what he reads is, oh, my God, he's so cute. I want to kiss him. He's so cute. I'm in love. And he's just like, wait, what now? <laughs> So the whole thing is like. So we're watching wait, this, right? Wait, really when does this come out? About me? This comes out. Oh, geez. I think it was December 17th, maybe. I'll have to double check that one. I know it's coming out. It's going to be a winter season anime. Well, I guess um, we got to watch it, that. It's called Cherry Magic. It seems really, really cute. I don't know anything about the manga, but the trailer really sold me. I'm waiting for I'll, I'll Dungeon Meshi. I'll send the Meshi. trailer to you, Ori. Yeah. Yes, Dungeon Meshi. Dungeon Meshi. I need Ooh, Dungeon Meshi. Very fun Dragon Craze. I, I, I watched it a, a while ago at this point, Mason. It's very good. It's one of those animes where it's like Naruto, where like to like fully understand a lot of like certain stuff, you either have to watch a lot of people talk about the the anime, or you have to Are watch you it yourself. Are talking about Full Metal Alchemist? Yeah, it's only fifty six episodes. No, what what I'm saying that it's like an anime staple. Right, that so like ah, a lot of okay. things like talk <laughs> about like, it. It's not Naruto levels of no, 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 episode. No, 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 no. I'm talking about it being like a staple of where it's like where it's like it's so ingrained in like, you know, that you should at least watch people like talk about it, you know, so you okay, can like understand okay. how. Because what I learned about the slide, the the motorcycle slide recently. That's not a Full Metal Alchemist thing. I can't remember what anime is from. But uh, Akira. Lit. Thank you. The Akira motorcycle slide. And then it happened in one of that. We were watching an anime and it happened. And I was like, oh. <laughs> it happened in. Oh, crap. What were we watching? It, it must have been Chain in Kekai Sensen. I think it was Kekai Sensen. I think yeah. It was Kekai Sensen. Yeah. It, it had to be. And I saw that and I was like, oh, that. like I know that now. The Akira slide. Yes. <laughs> That's really cool, Dragon Craze. Best of luck to you. As honestly, anyone going through a grad program, anyone thinking of going through a grad program, give yourself a round of applause. I thought about it, because and then I said no. <laughs> oh, Ori, you don't need it because you have innate talent for <laughs> art and could just make a living off it that. It is not innate. It is not innate. <laughs> it is very not innate. You make it look so easy. Um, fucking uh, I, eight I years kid, into I kid. it. I know, I know how much work and effort you put into everything you create. I... <laughs> I shall not squander the efforts you have made over the years. It's never an eight, guys. Don't let Mars and her and her whimsy fool you. These are my fantasies. It's not... No, no, I said innate. <laughs> no. Not an eight. I said it's not an eight. <laughs> innate. <laughs> well, I'm glad you think like, it's a ten, Like natural talent. <laughs> 
I see. So my reason Sorry, I didn't enunciate. <laughs> my reasoning for not going to grad school was twofold. One, I absolutely despise writing. I really hate, especially technical writing. I really, you really do hate have it. to do a lot of and it. And so, in ninety-eight percent of masters and other graduate degrees, you have to write some sort of thesis, and I hate that. I hate that a lot. So I went no. I, I don't now, need to do a thesis. I just need to take a statewide test and then a. Well, that's uh, beautiful. Certified tests. Well, there are a few. I there didn't was know that dichotomy. <laughs> there was. There are a few uh, master's degrees that you can take that were in fields that I was interested, in, like agriculture and silviculture, that are thesis lists, but they involve like a big project. And I'm just like, Ugh. I like going to school to learn things. Don't get me wrong, but the project part of it is just like. I don't want to do research, right? And that would be the biggest thing would be for research would be to get a master's or a doctorate, right? Would be to do scientific research, which is not something that I'm particularly interested in. So I went, eh, vast majority of people in my field that do what I want to do don't have degrees at all. So <laughs> I've got a leg up there. Yeah, it, it no, it's specifically not it's a thesis. So something you need to do on top of everything else that you're doing. But I just specifically didn't want to do anything like that. And so I went, eh, I don't know anybody that has a higher, a graduate degree in my field from all the internships I had worked with. And then on top of that, after even further working in my field, the vast majority of people have no degree in my field at all. So <laughs> works out. Okay. I think this is where we're going with it. I think so. You know what this is reminding me of? This is reminding me of the symbols from the movie uh, Secret of Kells. Oh. It's really got that vibe to it. Okay. Like all those swirls and everything. Have you seen that movie, Ori? I have never seen that movie, no. The only one I've seen mm. is the is the 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 the, the you wolf saw wolf walkers, walkers. Yeah. yeah that one i specifically uh, saw because come on werewolves man <laughs> oh yeah and it's like really good werewolf lore yeah and one you don't see very often where the wolf soul steps out of the body when they sleep and it's so damn good it's and the animation good. is beautiful and ah oh, amazing Cartoon Saloon honestly does incredible movies. Stuff. My absolute favorite from them is Song of the Sea. And honestly, that, that'll that probably be a talking point for Inspiration Station one of these days. Because <laughs> I love that movie to pieces. So, so good. Oh. You, want, you want a movie that features amazing parallel storytelling? That movie. That movie has absolutely incredible parallel storytelling Just, oh crap now i want to watch it again <laughs> damn it oh my god please work you can do it ori it finally happened it happened ganbate <laughs> With the kita. Honestly, go for it, go that for is it. Such a, my favorite line in all of anime. Whenever it's said, it's Moete Kita! <laughs> Dylan loves Dabayo, though. <laughs> Dylan loves Dabayo. Nah, that one's pretty good. But I'm definitely a Top Moete tier. Kita kind of gal. What's your favorite line? Mmm. Ooh. That's tough. That's tough. Because it doesn't, it doesn't have to be with a character specifically, you know? It doesn't have to be the character. Like, See, I like Moete Kita from Natsu, but it's said in many others. I am definitely partial to Gambare Gambare from Sukuna. I think it's just on my mind because we saw it recently, and it's yeah. the only one I can think of at the moment. Uh, Tatakai. Tatakai from Attack on Titan, also top tier. Um... Delete, delete, delete from Death Note is also an interesting one. What was it? Sakujo? I think it was Sakujo. I feel like that's right. I'm actually rewatching Death Note with uh, with a friend right now. So it is a freaking trip down memory Ooh, lane. You love Mate like, Mate. Oh, no. That's mate, a good one. Mate Mate. 
<laughs> Love it. Oh, uh, that that's 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 uh yada yada and yada yada does it. Those those Oh those yada, are great. yada yada does it. Yada yada. That that is a phenomenal one. That's a top tier one as well. I'm definitely partial to that for sure. Yeah. Moetekita is from my first ever <laughs> anime boy. Love him. Natsu, beautiful. And uh, and it's said in a lot of other anime because it's really just like, you know, a phrase. So I enjoy it. It was literally just said today in Jujutsu Kaisen. So I'm very that happy. That is very true. <laughs> Good God, that episode was a trip today. <laughs> they freaking... Oh, no. I don't know if anyone in chat is watching Jujutsu Kaisen right now. Are you suffering along with us? It's, it's we're a lot. dying. It, 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 we're it was dying. fun, and now it's a problem. You know? It was fun. Yeah. And I will say, Toji was kind of like a highlight with all of his <sighs> biting. That was enjoyable. Toji coming it was back good. was the highlight. But now he's kind of just... Now, now we're just back but in now, the sad. But now Toji is gone, and yeah. now we're we're destroying we're the just entire back city. In the sad. And Ori accidentally saw spoilers about who dies, and now she's sad, and she's passed on her sadness. <laughs> accidentally to is a strong turn. <laughs> you passed on your sadness so badly that I screamed and broke my voice. No, you screamed because of blonde-haired bitch. All right, <laughs> we talked about this. You only saw season one. Die. <laughs> Blonde haired bitch does need to die. Uh, see, season two is so good. It's really good, but God, is it pain. Yeah. Uh, we knew what we were signing up for. <laughs> eh. We knew. We can't pretend we didn't know. Everyone talks about the Shibuya arc. I, well, I, I look at so little stuff online talking about it that like yeah honestly this is why i need to send you shit to keep you up to date <laughs> 90 literally we watched jujutsu kaisen though mars and then my like instagram real feed is just edits of like nanami or like it's gonna be edits of toji biting shit like that's what it's gonna be i'm gonna like be scrolling through instagram trying to go to bed and it's gonna be every no, time toji bites something like you want and i'm like toji you know what like all right thing, don't you you want to see Toji break these chopsticks, don't you? You want to see Toji grab the animals? Is it yell at Ori time? You can always yell at Ori if you want. It just won't do anything. You, you are certainly free to yell at Ori, Jamie. Welcome, welcome. But welcome. We're talking about mouths and biting. Which I know you'll take the wrong way, but that's, that's why I that's said it again. putting it very <laughs> specifically. The overall oh. general discussion was well, anime. It start no, no, no. It really doesn't help, My does evening it? started with mouths as well. I talked about this. Well, that is true. Because yeah, no, exactly. the mouth color of our characters has changed. And Ori did Again, not inform me of this, so I have been coloring term. them the wrong color for the last eight months. Hey, I, I never said anything because she never technically did it wrong. I know that she was only <laughs> using the gifts that the gods gave her, me, and yes. uh, I just was lazy. The god of art or Tammy. They don't, they don't happen enough oh, to be a concern, you know? Where it wasn't like, it was, it's not like every episode has mouths that are open. Needing, needing colors. And honestly, these last few episodes have had either gritted teeth, which are just all white, at least according to what I was working with. Yes. Or well, the they do mouth. have specific like, there teeth were colors very now. Few open mouths in this last uh, entry. Ah, dang, Oof. SJ Mackinnon. Oof, that indeed. pain. That's rough, buddy. <laughs> See, this, this is how they get you, because now you have no choice but to watch it. <laughs> or wait for the hype to die down and return to it. <laughs> Once the videos disappear. I, honestly, okay, I am so torn. I love that we're watching Moriarty the Patriot right now. Like, guys, is it is so unbelievably good. Watch it. These are some of the best written mysteries best thought out plans most intriguing mind games since death note like this is a really good death note successor if you're into that anime i don't know if i'm disappointed that we missed the hype train when it was coming out because i can only imagine how good and into it the fandom was 
Like, oh, there Hold really is something to be said for just joining the hype train too late. I'm trying I'm to make on. sure that I... I don't want the sound to just happen suddenly. <laughs> okay. What are you doing? I've got to show the fish! Oh, okay. <laughs> I gotta do it! It's but important. why? It's important. <laughs> okay. I have no control here, guys. Stream is under Ori's control. She okay. she is gone. Here's the fish. It's great. We ready? We're all ready now. Uh, you gonna, will see more about mute this because I don't want copyright. Thing. It's just for the the animation. It's just for the visuals. Fucking but rest just... assured, the music in the uh, background. Fuck will top damn! All right, the, the rabbit oh one is not God. as easily found. God, oh, the tongue. I know. You will not rabbit. expose me like this. Oh, hold on. Oi. From what I understand, that scene was not in the original manga. That is something that oh, wait, um, I'm gonna get the rabbit. decided to grace us with because they care about us. Uh, the fish is scary looking. It is being yeah, controlled a by a demon. It's a demon fish. Also, Toji, the character uh, featured, is not on the good side. He just wants to fight whoever's strong yeah, because indeed. he is chaos incarnate. All right, that was it. But honestly, I know he's Jamie. Good possessed. When he's not talking and being a little snobby know-it-all, he's very good. <laughs> I is that it's not Vor. He didn't eat it. Vor, Vor, you have to eat it. At least that's oh, my Jesus understanding. Right? Am I wrong? No, you're not wrong. You're definitely not wrong. Dichotomy. How me? did you miss it? No, it's not me and a fish. I've done nothing. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Enthus. Thank you. Why did we get to this? This is how, how all of our chats go. This is how all of them no, go. No, it's fucking not. It's how a lot of them go these days. No, Jamie, we're not going there. La 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 la. A sexual attorney, please. We're definitely not going there. But all I will say is attorney. Toji biting the fish is not Vor. Oh, wow. Whew, it just got really hot in my room. Why did it get so hot in my room? This is not the time to say these things. <sighs> As no, I'm I. Over no, here no, well. not. I swear to God, not for that. So, guys, <laughs> I have the same issue as Ori. There is a heater right under my desk where my thing is. My computer is positioned. <laughs> no, and dude, shut up. I knew as she's saying no. this. I'm like, this is a bad time, Mars. No, this is I, a horrendous it really is timing. timing. It's really crappy timing, but I literally, I, I was wearing a shawl and I have a heater in front of me. I literally just broke into a hot flash, you guys. I am not kidding. Like, Meta I am actually Mars sweating Mars is secretly right an old lady and she's Ooh. going through menopause. Wow. <laughs> No, I actually am right now. Holy crap, I don't feel good. I gotta... Oh, I got I gotta regulate my body temperature here. Wow, Chat okay, bonk no more tea. tea. Tea bad, tea bad. Chat bonk Ooh. indeed. See, this is why I wanted wow. an avatar for chat. So why am I have chat bonk. We do need a chat bonk. You guys are uncontrollable. As a secret old man, you relate? There you go, Dichotomy. <laughs> Look at you. Whew. Oh, man. See, this... Guys... This is what happens when you turn 25. Don't turn 25. Yeah, it's bad. exactly. <laughs> huh, uh, you turn 25 and two days later, you're having hot flashes. No, sometimes I'm, it's dichotomy I'm too. Fuck. It's enthused as well. Oh. They, you know, they, they, all, they all deserve it sometimes. Man, that was not fun. I told you you're old. Damn. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, I think I'm okay. Have you yeah, lived? I'm okay. Will you survive? I have, I have lived. Once my laptop has reached its full charge, I'm relocating to the other side of the rooms. I, I cannot sit in front of the heater anymore. I am dying. I feel I have it. taken my shawl off. I have taken my fuzzy socks off. So my, my body is now regulating itself. But the heater is certainly not helping. Well, that was unpleasant. Okay, moving on from Mars's uh, death. All right, there we are. <laughs> Oop. Crash. I like how this. I'm is sorry, easy. Nicole. I I don't mean to scare you, but this this is what you have in store. You know, Ori turned 25, and now she has to wear a thumb brace. I turned 25, what? and now I'm having hot flashes. This, this is. What I you wear have to look no thumb to. brace. 
This is false information. Where, where, the pink it's, thing! It's not a brace. <laughs> it's kinesthetic tape. There's no bracing involved. I just wear it for fun, I also Mars, wore I it swear. before I was 25. Well, it is, I it didn't is, hurt my thumb is, this week, even though I confessed to it on it stream. It is pink because I want to be an anime character. Like I, I hold no, no bars that, there. That is valid. Is if you're going to have any kind of brace on you, make it fun colored. Because I because want to white feel and black cool suck. when my hand is taped up. That's the cool thing. No, Nicole, uh, turning 25 is not what killed my thumb. What killed my thumb was me at uh at, at what, 23. What killed Dory's thumb was being a really good gift gifter. At 20, yeah, literally, fucking literally though. <laughs> we this brought it back around. <laughs> this is this is not a joke. I hurt my thumb at age 23. They brought it back fucking around because I made a tree skirt for my mother for Christmas. And had to hand sew so a part of it. Guys, Ori is the best gift gifter, sometimes to her own detriment. Yeah. Indeed. There you have it. I didn't know it at the time. <laughs> I have gotten lost in chat's conversation for being honest. Yeah, so have I. Okay, that 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 is between you guys, chat. I am completely lost. <sighs> but Toji, isn't he a brilliant animated <laughs> man? <laughs> He's a lovely animated man. Horrible person. Right. Lovely animated man. You know what's nice about that scene is Everyone's he's just a Canada. body being possessed, so you don't have to listen to him being an arrogant jerk. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. He's just it's being good. badass, and honestly, that's all we want. That's all we need. <laughs> honestly, we might dichotomy. As as long as I am able to teach speech there, actually. Sadly, I how that would work. sadly, I will never get to move I don't to Canada. Think that would work, actually. I think I, I think there's a different organization for us all yeah, in Canada. I never get to move to Probably Canada. Is. Do you know Perhaps. why I never get to move to Canada? Why? Because Dylan has practiced American law. <laughs> <laughs> you have committed. Yep. I have. My country is this one. Dylan spent too many years of his life learning American law. <laughs> That's valid. Alright. We're getting much farther <laughs> with this than I thought we were. It's, you mentioned that, Mason, and just like mentioning moving to other places. I was looking up be, be, because I'm, uh, I'm a practicing uh, clinic. Well, no. I'm a learning student. Pink. Let's go with that. I don't want to say anything false. Um, and R, tar uh, working on the way people pronounce R is a, a, a significant part of what doing are Australians what I do. really bad at it? Where are we going with this? Well, no, I, I will reveal the story eventually. Oh, okay. Um, basically, TLDR, I have a client that I'm working with, and I want to look up some techniques for working on R. And. I found a subreddit, clearly the most reliable of information. Oh, 100%. Um, 100%. Like, Definitely. You know, it's a primary oh, source it's coming from SLPs themselves. <laughs> how how could I question that? <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, Nar. Obvi obvi obvious Arr, sarcasm Nar. is obvious. Um, one of the suggestions in the chat, because uh, it, it was on... Uh, I, I forget the name of the subreddit, but basically there was an SLP on there who was really struggling with R and was asking for tips. One of the tips was move to Australia. They say R is less there. Yeah, nice. <laughs> wow. And okay. There you have it. That that is the whole point of that story. I see. I I just thought it was hilarious. <laughs> Clear clearly the most reliable of sources. A deep level of knowledge you can't acquire on You can. You just have to be wary. See, the level of knowledge I've acquired on Reddit, because I am a profuse reader of Am I the Asshole subreddit. Yeah, it's I just how to it. shitty people can be. Yeah, it's really You sad know, sometimes. it's been very eye opening. <laughs> Literally 99% of what I listen to while I'm doing art is people reading certain Reddit things. One of them being, yeah. Am I the Asshole? Also, entitled people, you know, like any, oh, any that's entitled people ones. Dude, 
I read those subreddits nice guys. like there's a freaking tabloid. <laughs> like that's where I get my you drama. Are that's my lot of heart. drama. What? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> I would not get up on the stand and say, oh yeah, I'm totally a witness. I totally saw the murder. By the way, I didn't give you the other photograph that shows something different than what I'm saying. And I'm just on the stand because I just want to be here and feel the thrill of being a witness. I wouldn't do that because that's horrible and evil. And Lada is a terrible character. Man, I pissed off Mars real bad there. <laughs> <laughs> you you do not compare me to Lada. <sighs> the voice actress is not the character. <laughs> Maybe sometimes with Maya. I will give you that. Sometimes Ooh. my brain dies and I do act like Maya. But Lada, no. I have way you too much. You do not cross that line. I have way too much Phoenix inside me to say <laughs> that I'm not the the character. That that would be like saying Dylan is Dr. Hottie. You, that is just a line you do not cross. <laughs> and yet, I don't know. There's no basis! You have no decisive evidence. But it's my 17th cup of coffee. The, the reason I had Down Dichotomy, I literally just watched the redirect today. So it it was a blast from the past. If you guys haven't watched the yes, redirect, you yet, should. Even if you watch don't it. watch it's our hilarious. normal Ace Attorney I laughed stuff my ass dichotomy, off. please watch the three redirect because they have very incredibly little to do with the actual game, and it's actually hilarious. Um, no di dichotomy, you don't understand. It's a character called Doctor. There's no E. First of all. He's not a doctor. He's a patient yes, at did. a hospital who's just assuming the role of a Pretending doctor. Pretending to be a doctor and, second, and creeping on all the women. He is a pervy creep. Yeah. And he just wants to be a doctor so he can feel people up. Yeah, it's real bad. So there is very, very something. There are lots of Oh, no, he's not hot at all. With calling someone Dr. Hottie. No, he's very much not. Dichotomy, look up an image of him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> look up an image of him. I did see the thumbnail for the redirect, yes. I will say, I I, I rock the headband. <laughs> she still does know that she enjoys the outfit. I, that's what makes me mad. I like the aesthetic. I love the hiker aesthetic. I love this. I'm out in the wilderness doing my own thing, and it's a good freaking aesthetic. You know, the jacket, up to here. The headband, great. It's practical. It's stylish. You got a great mix of both. Personality, <laughs> it's in the toilet. Terrible. Horrible. Negative no 10 good, out of 10. No good, very bad day. No good, very bad day. He He's very much not hot. hot. No. <laughs> Oh, I responded to that already, didn't I? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> there's there's the Maya seeping through. <laughs> See, there it is, guys. Eh. I never denied that. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm way too much Phoenix. The amount of times that... The amount of times you read Phoenix's I, mind. Yeah, <laughs> literally. I was just watching... Uh, what was I just watching? I was just watching something. The and... redirect? Maybe it was the redirect, or I'm I know, editing I know the Rise from the Ashes redirect. Where you said, where Dylan was like, oh, you took the words exact. Yeah, no, 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 it wasn't the redirect. I was editing the Rise from the Ashes redirect. And there's a part when I go like, what am I, chop liver? Later on, Phoenix goes, what is my objection, chop liver? And I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> Or he is Phoenix with brain cells. Yeah, really. And a knowledge and a surprising more knowledge of the law than Phoenix was. Yeah. I've gone that, through equally as much law as Phoenix did. has. But but Phoenix didn't get to talk with Edgeworth. I got to talk with my Edgeworth. Mm. See, Ori is what Phoenix could have had if he was just a little braver. <laughs> if if Phoenix and, and Edgeworth met in high school instead of elementary school. <laughs> they definitely got the childhood friend vibe going. Oh yeah. 
damn, damn good vibe. Yeah, I plan to do the redirect of the turnabout before it afterwards. So I I'm going to explain this a little better. Yeah, exactly, Nicole. Exactly. Um, this is supposed go. to be a chakram, Jamie, uh, kind of ring blade. You know, really all of the above, any of the above is specifically based off the steam method. Redirects into, so essentially, once, one, so now at the end of every turnabout, I'm going to post the redirect for the turnabout before it. So like we have the, the lost turnabout is the first one of Justice for All. After that's over, we'll have the Rise from the Ashes redirect. And then we'll have the second turnabout reunion. And then after that, we'll have the, the lost turnabout redirect, right? So that's that's why I caught up. I specifically wanted to catch up to do it that way. And uh, that's, that's how it's going to be. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because that was my goal. But it was just hard. What's great in Thuz is that I'm finally hit a point where my editing is more like what I do now, where everything we say out of character is subtitled. Um, except, obviously, the really long things, but most of those aren't funny, so most of those weren't, wouldn't be in a redirect. They're more just like, how is our brains working through the, the, the mysteries and everything? And so it means that I have a lot less work to do for every redirect. I just have to cut it Which down is and Ori. then sort it. Because essentially, essentially the method for redirects is I sit through every episode again <laughs> and I cut out all the, you know, what I think is funny, you know, I, pr I cut out a, a bit more and then I make Dylan watch it. And Dylan has final say um, technically not final say. He cuts out a lot more. Because ideally, I really don't want to redirect to be longer than an hour. So hope so. hopefully Rise from the Ashes will can be cut down to that. And then, honestly, every other- no other- I don't think any other turnabout is as long as Rise from the Ashes. God, I hope not. Uh, well, maybe Farewell My Turnabout will be long. That's a long one. Mm. Farewell, my turnabout was long. It was so long. Because it had double it investigations. Wasn't, it wasn't Rise from the Ashes long. It didn't feel the length of that it one. It didn't drag like Rise from the Ashes dragged. Yeah. <laughs> but they also Sorry. had like a Corey time and I limit. We just had another rant about Rise up from the Ashes today when we hung out. We're yeah. still we're still burned. Because something else I want to do is still very once salty. we finish... Um, Trials and Tribulations. On top of Smasher Pass, I want to rank all the turnabouts from the first three games. And so that'll be a stream as well. But yeah, Dichotomy, if you just like us being goofballs, you should probably just watch the redirects Definitely anyway. Definitely watch the redirects. Because they're literally just us being goofy it's as just hell. just us vibing. Yeah, there's like, it's, it's with as little context as possible is how I market them, so... Obviously, you don't you have to. I won't be truly de and utterly devastated if you don't, but I think you could actually enjoy this. But you may be slightly <laughs> disappointed. <laughs> I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> what am I doing here? Mad. Disappointed. I'm so excited for you guys to hear Milano's voice. It doesn't come out next week. It comes oh. out the week after that. So close, you guys. It comes out the week of Thanksgiving. What better way to celebrate? Well, for the people who celebrate Thanksgiving. It was one five. For the rest Jamie. of you, it's just going to be a really good week featuring Milano. The one with Gant. Yeah. Gant and the Blue Badger. Those are the two big yeah. biggest defining elements. The first reveal of the Blue Badger. Uh, technically not. He was well, revealed. Well, he, he vaguely in, existed. Uh, that is true. Turnabout goodbyes. He, he was vaguely a stuffy. vaguely existed. I don't know how to feel about Mrs. Badger, though. And them being handcuffed together. <laughs> he did have a chem... You know, he, he was prepping for his big reveal. Yeah. I will say, the my favorite short is the one where Blue Badger shows up in the final uh, credits. And I was like, quick, Mars, this is all you. I'm like, 
I don't know what the blue badger sounds like. They're like, eh, and then it dies. There's no Milano yet, Jamie. <laughs> but there's just the one. Predictive death noise. Yeah, because because you just made that noise, and then he died, and then you screamed. So it it was like it it was like a you know a Discord delay. So it was like, wait, <laughs> she she just did it, and I had to make sure that everybody else knew that that was not Mars time. copying the, him dying on screen. That was Mars doing this noise outside of that. This is like, well, you know, the noise I was trying to do was like it was going to be. Eh. Eh, eh, like ah. it, it's got creaking joints <laughs> as it's understand. moving, but then it collapsed before I could get to the next. Ah, eh, I see Jamie. No. <laughs> Mars is the blue badger. <laughs> oh, come on, you guys! Your birthday has passed, Mars. Now it's just insult Mars. No, <laughs> it really is. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh... Now I'm gonna take it like a champ. Don't let them. Badger you. Oh, no. <laughs> the ha. silence is deafening. <laughs> I, I am mesmerized by these swirlies you're doing. That's well, why I'm, I'm so glad quiet. you guys like them because otherwise I felt like this wasn't going to have enough Ori Kami Curio vibes to it if I didn't do some sort of glowy and intricate pattern design. Work. Oh, yeah, you gotta have the glowy pattern. It's too pretty. Otherwise I felt it was going to the be Academy too... Agrees. I'm glad you love the swirly. I think I'm gonna change this middle color, though. To what? Oh, I don't you, know Jamie. yet. Did, did you see the uh, awesome, awesome present that Ori gave me? See, I don't even have to hype myself up. <laughs> oh, no, I, I will hype you up, Ori. The, the amount of effort you put into it just look like, at that Jamie did again, see the present no joke holy crap so touched so <laughs> just... I'm very glad you Can't like express. it <laughs> okay I gotta right, change no this middle color because I I dis I dislike it and we're gonna go with the, the blue instead because I don't I don't don't like it nope the band part of the handle should be white in your opinion hmm you think it should be white, not this sort of, like, blue? Might draw your attention to the middle a bit more if it's white. I feel like white is just equally the same color as the blade. The blade's not uh, pure white, it but it is very Chew! light colored. Chew! God bless you. Whew. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Well, I, we'll ask chat. I just want to... Clean it up a second. Yes, okay. This will be a chat vote. So we have blue. <laughs> the same bless you shade of white. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we have blue. Oops. Or we have white. We have more of this, maybe like a like a gray, a darker gray. Maybe I'm gonna change this a second because I think. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Hmm. Blue, white, the darker gray, or the not that gray, this gray. You like this gray? Mm. Oh, Nicole likes the blue though. Hmm. I got- I'm leaning toward oh, blue, gotta be honest. Oh, Enthuse also likes the blue. We like the yeah, blue. Yeah, it's got good taste. Well, it looks like two for blue, and blue was my original choice, so. I think- I'm sorry, Dichotomy, we're going with blue. It's icy? Mmm, we don't want it to be icy, we want it to be steamy. Mmm. Because ice That's method is a thing. This is important. Ice method is a thing. We want it to be steamy. So, so I hope. Does this change anybody's opinion? <laughs> it's very oh, sharp, boy. Jamie. It's very sharp. 
I mean, unless you're into deep. that. I think I'm gonna. Add I don't know what people are into. Another I line. Because I think what I want to do. Must be quiet, everybody. The maestro is at work. <laughs> My brain. There it is. <laughs> and then. Ah, lovely. Cammy. Ooh. No. You can get very different vibes depending on the type of blue. Like, I don't think it's like an ice blue. It I see it as more of like, like a ice storm blue. blue. You think it works for seams too? What is happening? I got very lost in Jamie's message. I don't know. I, I think I said something, maybe. <laughs> oh, God. My foot got really itchy. Oh, I don't know. Pain. He got lost. Lost in the sauce. I say that about... Okay, I make... um Oven bake uh, katsudan. And there's a sauce that goes with it. And my mother is a hound for this sauce. Oh my god. <laughs> Constantly, every time I make it, she's like, make more. And I'm like, why? <laughs> and I'm like, and I'm like, she's like, I need it. And I'm like, I'm like, oh my god, okay. And I make more sauce. She's like, use the whole sauce. She's like, it's not enough sauce. I'm like, why do you need so much sauce? Jesus. She'll just drink it. She just loves the sauce. She's like, this is not enough sauce. And I'm like, this is enough sauce, mom. It's fine. Oh my god. She just likes the sauce too much. Yeah, that looks about right. Because what I think I want to do is I want to try one other thing. And that is do this. To give it actually more of a blade than just sort of like a a whole edge. That is the goal. The goal indeed. Oh, I'm glad being lost is fine, Jamie. Oh, good. We're very lost. I'm honestly, if <laughs> with you, Jamie, but half the time I'm I'll like sure say we something. Be found. Half the time I'll like say something, and by time you've like typed the whole thing out, my brain is totally off the whole thing. Dico it happens to di with dichotomy too. It's just like a stream lag delay, and my brain just Mars and I bouncing all over the place. Your it's brain always is like, literally just like shit. What were we even thing. talking about when you guys were typing this message? <laughs> Oh, there it is. Who See, knows? No, I certainly it. don't. Move yeah, it I, I can imagine, Jamie. But you're still very funny with delay, so <laughs> nothing is lost. It would only be gained. I, I, you know, my understanding is it's something about the Toji, but I only kind of got that. It was an 18 plus joke. Okay, I'm gonna tell you. You probably know this. But half the time I don't even get them with with without delay. The amount of times, I, this is no joke. Dylan constantly makes eighteen plus jokes with me. I don't half the time. Maybe they're not even jokes sometimes. Half the time the eighteen plus joke just flies. They go right, right over, over my over head. I'm like, what do you mean? I'm like, I'm like, what do you mean? And he's like, it's like gonna make me say it. It's like I don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> and he just gets really annoyed. Is like I am. Ah, that's hilarious. That got me. <laughs> that's really funny. Can we try something real quick? I'll trust you, dichotomy. Sure. It's with the with the colors, or something else. We can certainly try anything. Uh, digital art allows me to do anything I want and undo it. Honestly, one of the major benefits 
Oh, I, yeah. I, I haven't rendered well, it at I all can yet. You imagine how hard this would be to do if Ori was drawing with paper and pencil. She'd have to set up the camera. She'd have to make sure the lighting was just right. I've thought about it. Down perspective. But if I'm being honest, my sketchbook sketch time is very like this looks ugly for a long time. So ugly that I hate it at first. And then I have to push myself to be like, no, no, it'll look fine on the second go around. And mm. So mm -hmm. then if you had to do that in front of people, oof. Oh, okay, dichotomy. Okay, okay. I see what you're saying. You want... <laughs> it's funny, Jamie, because I actually made a joke about that earlier today during one of our <laughs> shows. That's a thing?! <laughs> Why is that a thing?! <laughs> Jesus. Mori, I literally made that joke earlier today during Moriarty! You did? <laughs> You didn't hear it? I don't think I got it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, I gotta give context because I can't believe Ori missed us. Either that or she was just too wrapped up in the episode. <laughs> the episode where the rich bastard screws over the owner of the orphanage and young William and Lewis take him to court Ace Attorney yeah, style. Yeah, it was great. And Top tier. He finds out the rules of the contract are a pound of flesh. I literally said, all right, time to cut off your dick. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 okay, yes. I heard that joke. Jamie is making a joke that people are into that. And I thought I missed a joke oh, where you were saying okay. that he was going to be into it. And I was like, I oh, missed that okay. completely. Because I was like, I don't know how to be more blatant about that. No, 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 no. <laughs> I heard I that. I definitely heard that. <laughs> okay. Good. I, I'm. I am glad that your hearing is still yeah. intact. No, no, no. It was literally just that Jamie is making making the, a point about people being into that. Ooh, the contrast is really good. But does it I say like steam? This. Does it say steam though? That's the question. I I could see it. I, I need to make sure that it says steam and not water. I feel like all the shapes say steam. Dichotomy is steam. Enthus likes it. Agrees. I'm just making sure it still says steam. Yeah, ice. I would have made it like sharper, less swirly. But Jamie, how do these things end up on your? Yeah, how do you page? get? You know what? Don't answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's a funny story. <laughs> Don't answer that question. Yes, but it's that, a that specific is true, form of water, Jamie. Just like ice. Oh, Reddit. Okay. <laughs> Reddit. Oh, jeez. Reddit is the wild friggin' west. Oh yeah, it's like old internet. Like you got. That is all I need to know. Into. That is all I need to know. That that is definitely all you need to know. I had Most my definitely. one and only uh, experience with like someone doing like asterisk role play without like you know even asking or anything. You know, being on like a forum or something from Reddit. It was very interesting. Didn't they DM you and start kid. doing? Yeah, some weird I was I was stuff? doing I was I was doing July Canthropy, right? Uh, and so I was drawing werewolves, and there's a werewolf subreddit, and so John and I were posting our werewolves on the werewolf subreddit, sub <laughs> and then someone from there who kept like liking and commenting and was just being really nice, you know, like messaged me, and they were like, "So you're a werewolf?" And I'm like. No, and they're like, "You'll be my where I was like, "This is not happening. We're done. <laughs> this is no." <laughs> and like back, back that one away. Guess, guess you're blocked now. Sad because you liked my art, but you know, eh. All right. <sighs> if we're happy with the colors, the shading shall commence. Uh, the next part. The next part, indeed. Which has to be done in this way? Yeah. Like that. No? Hold, what? What? What is you then? Uh huh. Uh -huh. What? You're supposed to be there. Okay. Fixed it. Thank you. Okay. Amazing. And comment, you clicked instant regret. You'll never instant click again, Jamie. You've yeah. You learned your lesson. Ori learned her lesson from that one. I'm waiting for my lesson. What? <laughs> what? Don't no, Ori, that 
anyway. Ori is my lesson. Ori was my lesson. <laughs> no, you'll still click on things. Dang, Jamie. Ah, uh, Jamie. You like to live life dangerously. Really? <laughs> on the edge. Of uh, the Reddit link. I am debating, guys. Always Do read I the link. Do I continue watching number six later tonight? Do I continue this <gasps> lovely anime Mars, day? doesn't Goofy, the, the boss Goofy come out tomorrow? My new Does boss the is boss Goofy? Goofy. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's 1019, <laughs> okay? You left off so many Goofy words Goofy is the most title. Boss and Goofy are the most important words in that title. I don't act like yeah. I'm wrong. Does boss Goofy come out tomorrow? What more could they do? There's always more, Jamie. Don't ask the universe these questions. Oh, yeah. There, there is always more. There's always more. They could hack you. Well, they, I they could hack about. you and ransom your account. Yeah, really. And then we'd never see you again. We'd never know that it was you, an imposter, a changeling that's assumed your identity. All right. You're, you're braver than I am, Jamie. Uh, yes, my boss is goofy. New episode does come out tomorrow. Yeah, guys, my new boss boss is goofy is so wholesome. It's... I just started watching it randomly last weekend because I was sad and needed some healing. And oh my god, did it ever heal? And then Ori like, got hurt geez. and was also sad and needed healing. <laughs> so Ori watched it. <laughs> it was sick though. It is good. And quick. The main character is literally a ball of anxiety and stress. Ugh. No, no, not that kind no, of goofy. No, not that kind of goofy. It's literally the boss does goofy things. Like, he'll send the wrong text message. He'll put in a typo. and then He tries to, to spin correct, his chair to turn around typo. to face someone behind him, spins but spins so chair, far that he spins all the way the around. Way around. He, he grabs onto his co-worker <laughs> when he's scared of a No theta. dichotomy. This, this guy is so wholesome. He tried to call over a cat, but it was just a log. Yeah, he mistook a tree for a cat. <laughs> and it was to cheer up his sad co-worker. He went to go buy his co-worker stomach medicine when he was about to throw oh, up. God, and he PMS accidentally medicine. bought PMS medicine. Because <laughs> it was what his girlfriend used to buy. <laughs> and he said, I panicked. And bought what used to help my girlfriend. Also, there's a there's a like a like a like a completely and blatantly pan or bi pan character. It's great. There, he just comes out with it. Comes out and says, "Yeah, men, girl. Yeah, man, woman. I don't care. Man, great. woman. As long as you cute. <laughs> it's like wow. It's like nice. Holy shit. We going." No, literally, the anime is literally just main character is a ball of anxiety and stress, but watching his boss be goofy he heals him. Literally, his crops his are therapy. waters. His skin is clear. His crops are watered. His skin is clear. And there's he a really cute cat that's life. like a sundere cat. It's literally a sundere cat. He picks it up, and the cat is literally like, "I, I don't need you to take care of me or anything." I I don't care about you at all. Plasters itself to the door as soon as he leaves the room. Yeah, it's not like I oh, want to like, play with this or anything has yeah, the best it's time like of its life. not like I want to play or anything. Yeah, well, it's not like I like you or anything. Maybe I, it's all cats. I don't know, Enthuse. My, my uh, yeah, cat Misty... is definitely not shy about <laughs> Misty's cuddling. like, hey, 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 attention now. Mr. Hey. Mr. Hey. Misty is literally like, attention, attention. Why? I, I it's attention o'clock. It's attention o'clock. <laughs> it's pay attention o'clock. Exactly. Missy, no, you don't know it, how to it, tell it's time. That, it's my watch. It's, <laughs> it's that soundbite where it's like, excuse me, why are you not petting me? I am a pet. That's why I'm called a pet, because you're supposed to pet me. Okay, I'm ready for pettings. <laughs> <sighs> oh, no, honestly, Dichotomy, it wants to be a BL. It's nearly a BL. It's work, nearly a BL. They work at an ad comp. They work at an ad company, so they have to go to all these places to do uh, field research to know, like, what they're advertising. They literally have the amusement park date. They have the, haunted the hotel house. date. They have the haunted house date. The hot date. springs. They have 
the main character being inspired by an ad that the boss created and convincing him to leave his moving old him to crappy tears. job that traumatized him. Move yeah, him it's, to it's, tears. It's nearly a BL. It is, it is a BL in disgust. It's literally, okay, it's along the lines of Skate the Infinity. It's mm. not a BL in name, but it is a BL in everything <laughs> else. It is a BL in vibe, exactly. Also, Dichotomy, watch it. You you will see. Also, oh, also the the boss gets drunk and the main character helps him home, and the main character ends up episode. staying over at night. Like it, literally, this show wants to be a BL so bad. I don't know what's stopping them. Like, just go for it. We're already for here it. for it. Oh, We're already here for it. Just commit. Just commit. Also, 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 the cat that they adopt together. Well, th there it is. They find the cat together, and the boss is like, well, we found it together, so why don't we give it parts of our names each, and it'll be our cat. Like, you are a BL! Admit you're a BL! <laughs> you know what you are! Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's boy love, Mason. So, like, Gio boy would love. be girl love. So, that's the whole thing. It's specifically, I, like, a romance. It's, it's basically, like, uh, the the other term is yaoi, but I think yaoi is more sexual. It's not sexual yaoi. Than yeah, yeah. yaoi. It's, yaoi like, is this literally, is not like, sexual. This is solely just for the cute, sexual sort of thing. wholesome. It, it's, it's literally specifically, so like, adorable. BL is, is a gay romance, and GL is a lesbian romance. You know? It's very yeah. cute. BL short for beautiful life? Not, not how we're using it. <laughs> Definitely GL not have different. <laughs> Unless you say that one's gorgeous, like. <laughs> I mean, I gotta say, when the animation in my yeah, boss exactly, is Jamie, goofy, yeah. kicks up like, oh my god, the animation kicks up. They animated tears on a cat, and it oh. looks gorgeous. The planetarium seed uh. looks fucking phenomenal. <laughs> So it's like there are just these select moments in this anime where the animation goes hard with the camera angle. <laughs> and it's great. There's also a side character that's not jealous of the boss, but he's definitely like he's so everyone needy. notices him cuz he's goofy and I want to be goofy too. How he's do I so be needy. him? Nobody wants me. I'm all alone. <laughs> okay. You know, you know, you know what I need I need everybody in life to have such a good education about what real life is like so that nobody can take away my goofy, like, yeah, I want this dude in the animation to be this needy guy, but, like, you know, it's kind of weird in real life. It's like, <laughs> Understand the difference. <laughs> the problem is when you describe it as needy, people paint a very specific image in their mind that's unfortunately very colored by how we as Westerners define the term needy. Whereas literally in the anime, he's literally just like, I just want basic love and affection. I just want people's presence in my life. I want people to notice me. Like, literally. Like, I need yeah. friends. No, he, my wife he is the me. oldest of the group, and he's literally noticed me senpai. He's so sad. His wife left him, like, right after he bought a house for them. And it's so sad. It's so he's bad. Literally, he has a tragic backstory. He really does. He is by far the most tragic backstory. The, the best scene is where he comes home and his house is just surrounded by a whole bunch of bears because he designed an ad for their amusement park. So I think he got all these bears because he got super attached to the character he created. He basically designed it after himself. Yeah, really. And it's like one of those mondo sized bears. So it's like literally him size. And he just like reaches over, grabs the paw. And he's like, you did a good job today. Pat, pat. Oh, thank you, Bear Coon. That's really nice of you to say. And he's just like patting Kumata, his own head with the right? Is it, bears. It's like paw. Kumata. Kumate? Kumate? Uh, ku like Kumachan? Something yeah. like that. <laughs> It's both the saddest and funniest thing I've ever seen. But thought. it's like, if if someone did that in real life, and I didn't know them, it'd be kind of weird. You know what I'm it saying? It would be very weird. So it's this very much some like... things can only be done in animation. Yeah. If you did that in live action, it would just be weird. This is why you can only do yeah. some things in animation. In animation, it's cute. You can have cartoon characters act like cartoon characters. That's the benefit. That was a rant. Yeah, it is. It's a good rant about a good show. 
but yes, to answer your original question, Ori, new episode tomorrow. So. Yay! Yay! Make a long story short. Why is this <laughs> not doing what I want? I don't know. It is. It's just the colors. It's it's trying its best. It's just the colors. Oh, a hundred percent, Jamie. And you know, there's always like in live action, like don't get me wrong, CGI has definitely come a long way, and it's great, yada yada yada. But you will always be up against the uncanny valley. Like there are just no ways around it. There will always be some kind of uncanny valley hill to contend with. Okay, we're on Ori break time. Uh, give your hand a rest. Uh, Mars continued to rant. Uh, I just literally going to run downstairs for two seconds to grab the glass of water that I left downstairs. <laughs> I will be right back. Well, in enjoy your water then. Yeah, there are definitely tons of things that would be weird if you did them for real. I don't know. I <laughs> maybe maybe my perception is a little colored because the last live action movie I saw with CG was The Flash, and who boy that one was rough. <laughs> it just did not look right. <laughs> oh, look at you on the leaderboard, Jamie. Very very nice. Six is a very respectable place. Enthuse at fifth place. Very very nice. Are you guys going to spend any of those points? That is the real question. And the bigger question is, what will you spend them on? There's so many good options. I believe one of those options is a fan art. Or a commission. One of the two. I kind of forgot. Don't tell Ori. She can hear everything. Ah, oh, nice, Jamie. Do you have an idea for a character you would want? I can hear everything. Jamie might be spending points. Yeah. Several. Oh boy. <laughs> You're gonna have your work cut out for you, Ori. Well, Jamie only has enough for one. <laughs> so. Which character I would you want the most? have to narrow it down. That, that's the true question. Alrighty. No, or he's still on break time. <laughs> Take your well-earned break, or well, you deserve Nicole, it. Nicole, you did draw Outcast fan art, so what that means is DM me a character, and I will do the little headshot as well. Yep, yeah, Mazen, also, if you do... I can't remember if you did or not already. I think you did do fan art. Hold on. Now I have to check everything. <laughs> we got so much lovely fan art. I know Mason is gonna work on one. Ah, Dragon Craze! I am late to this, but I see you joined the Discord. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, unfortunately, Mason, it's only a Twitch thing, sadly. However, I do plan on doing a big. Th so there's two ways to get a little commission from me. It's very like it's a very simple commission. You don't get to like get any input once you like tell me about it or send references uh, and it's just a bust but there's two ways to do it one way is to get twitch points which sadly unfortunately I, I literally just can't do it on YouTube very sad second way is to draw fan art <laughs> mainly of the outcast characters that's what it originally said it so the outcast characters you draw fan art of the outcast characters you can DM me a thing uh, so do it's exclamation point store, and then it should give you all the commands. You have to DM me anyway, though, but <laughs> about it. <laughs> and then there will be a third way when we have the outcast um, year celebration or when we have like stream anniversary celebrations. I do want to do more on the YouTube side of it because you guys can't get points where there's a lot more like raffles and stuff for the YouTube people over, you know overall just because you can't earn points mm -hmm. unfortunately I'm very sorry about that I have looked into it very much yeah I know enthused we hit a hundred and the year is coming up yes. soon 
Oh. So then do exclamation point rewards, Jamie. And yeah, and then so it's char feet. Exclamation point char feet. Because <laughs> character feature takes a long time. A lot of words. But yeah, so Indeed. those are the three ways. It's amazing. So once you, if you do draw Milano, you just DM me. And that's how it works. There was a period of time where I wasn't doing it just because October was incredibly busy for me. <laughs> just a lot. Uh, but we're back on it now. <laughs> there you go. Am I good at drawing dryads? Oh. I mean, I haven't you, drawn you one in a be. long time, but I like drawing wood grain. Like is a strong <laughs> term, but, you know, yeah. Like is a very strong term. I don't see why I wouldn't be, Jamie. <laughs> I don't think I have anything that's specifically a reference, though. Everything is kind of old. There's no real character we have that's newer. Alright. I'm game for whatever, Jamie. I will do pretty good at anything. <laughs> it's got a DM me. Any references, any description, all that above. Let me see if I can get the things up to show what kind of thing they are. Ah. So this is the kind of level of um, quality you will get. These are all the ones I did. Th these are very recent. These were for art trade um, in July. Art fight, I'm sorry. In June or July? Uh, no, June? Sorry. I think it must have been June, yeah. Hold on, I can check. June just feels right to me. Why won't you give me the date? <sighs> no, it was July. It was July. It was July. Oh, shit. Yeah, not this one. This one's extra fancy. But like this one, this one. This is the kind of level of the stuff. None of them are dryads, unfortunately. Don't think I really have any. What else? This was Pastry Puff's character I did, because they drew uh, Ferrix and Aster. Huh. And Enthuse, you. Oh, Enthuse also redeemed. Damn. All right. Well, there Dang. you go. No, none of the art is showing on stream <laughs> if you're uh, showing it, Ori. Oh, snap. <laughs> I am showing it. We're, we're fixing it, Nicole. Sorry, thank you, Nicole. <laughs> there it is. Jamie and Nicole both get credit. <laughs> oh, and Jamie, thank you. I was just being a dumb, dumb, stupid brain. Cause it's it took me a moment where I was like, wait, should there be some on screen? There it is. <laughs> Because it's my fault. It's all my fault. <laughs> I'm just dumb. So this is Pastry Puffs. Because Pastry Puff drew Aster and Ferrix. This is the art I was talking about. So kind of this stuff. Uh, Vilros is also one of them up there. He's just not as new. So, you know, my my skill increases. So that's why I show newer and newer stuff. But it's sort of this sort of thing. And you can have whatever simple shape you want in the background. These are just mostly like Dungeons and Dragons characters. So, you know, this is a monster um, prom OC, so it got the monster prom background. Aw, thank you, Nicole. I have fun. I love the the way I the way I render is actually very new. Um, it's literally from this year. <laughs> it, it was all thanks uh, to Trigun Stampede. Literally, yeah. It was all thanks to Trigun Stampede and Vash having the same hair as Hotsin, kind of. And you know, where is it? Is it in Doodle? It, it was so funny. So many artists I followed around the, this... the Stampede era. They were like, holy shit, why did my art suddenly evolve and get so much better now? 
<laughs> like Stampede really unlocked something it was, in people. So, so and literally what happened, literally what happened is I I like just wanted to really quick like, this, like this sketch him out. Like this event. was a really quick welcome back to Academy. This was like a really quick thing I that I just I wanted to do it, but I wanted to do it right. And I didn't want to like uh you know, I didn't want to like not do it at all. But when you do cell shading, you have to be very specific on like where you're shading and everything like that. Like it's, you know, cause you want clean lines and stuff. I was too lazy for that. So I did what I called messy shading, which honestly takes roughly about the same time. It just feels easier. I don't know why. Uh, and that's what got this level of rendering. And that's when I started adding the little hair shiny bits, which is honestly my favorite thing. Yes, you do dichotomy. You do know what it means. <laughs> Uh, okay, hold on. We need short hair Milano. Yes. Oh, short hair Milano is a vibe, you guys. I know you've seen it before. I just always get so excited when he gets mentioned. Yeah, Mars. Mars is here for short hair I am hair here Milano. for short hair Milano. Honestly, I love the Avatar The Last Airbender style of storytelling yeah. through different hairstyles. I think Milano's either going to need a ponytail or some short hair. At definitely, definitely, we're up for ponytail. I don't want to cut it, my boy. <laughs> uh, I, I may convince we're you. We're cutting already. someone else's I hair, very okay? Well you. <laughs> okay. We're not killing anybody. No, I said we're cutting someone cutting else's hair. Hair, you don't die by cutting hair. Why can I well, not find it? In most instances. Why am I having to? Oh, because it's over here. There <laughs> it is. I found it. Oh, Jamie. Short hair, Milano. I... I cannot empathize, but I do sympathize. I'm not killing anybody. <laughs> Call off the attack. <laughs> it's like uh, when uh, when Tom Holland Spider-Man has like the, the glasses from Stark in Far From Home. And oh he's God, like, yeah. there's a missile coming. And he's like, no, stop. No, Siri, no. Don't, don't don't do that. Kill mode. What do you mean kill mode? Yeah, really. Mala, yes. <laughs> yeah, I showed this to Mars, and Mars like flipped. Oh. <laughs> she loves that short hair. this one. You can see his neck. Yeah. You can see a little bit more of his. It's just uh, guys. Haircuts are such a quick way to give off a different vibe. I just, I love like just a vlogging. little change. But yeah, and then you got it. So like, this is the sort husband. of commission that you guys get from the thirty-five thousand points or raffles, or if you draw fan art of the comic. <laughs> Jamie, you might need to hire a bodyguard for your boyfriend. Dichotomy. Uh, yeah, dichotomy's on dichotomy's it. Dichotomy's got plans. <laughs> I don't know if Hodson could do that, Jamie. He's very, very fast. <laughs> Hodson is shy. I I cannot There's see like... Hodson being an initiator. Uh... Milano, on the other hand, I could see that. Oh, Milano, but I yes. I could also see him being so sloppy because he's never had this kind of interaction ever. <laughs> so he's just going on instinct. Wink, wink. Oh, God. No winking here. What was that? That was something. I'm trying to remember. There's something. Oh, it was it was Molly McGee, and it was it was scratched to Jeff, and he's like, "Stop winking." <laughs> uh, Molly McGee has gay ghosts, and they kiss, and it's great. Ah, uh, I'm waiting to get to that episode. Not that. What? Now I'm confused. Now How I'm many types so of wink confused. Are there? Now I'm really really confused dichotomy. how many types of wink wink signs i feel are like there? you're taking my interpretation the wrong way <laughs> winking like like yeah i totally won't do that wink that's what i'm talking about are you not talking about that and i'm being really ace right now what is happening i don't know what's happening i, I i'm lost in the sauce worry, I am oh good lost. thank you All it's right. you dichotomy uh, it was you all along. It was coming from inside the house. Oh my 
goodness. You can blame Oscar. <laughs> you can blame him while he's not here. He won't he won't come after you. Beautiful. I can't believe this is gonna be like finished on this stream if I'm being honest. Yeah, right? Like, holy crap, the timing. I've everything. been much more diligent on the work ethic somehow. I I think you've been pacing yourself, giving yourself some breaks. You know, we turn things over to chat to allow them to help design. Oh, I'm just I'm more surprised that like, I'm like this struck a balance. I've gotten to the point where I'm so, where I can be engaged enough with chat and still mentally able to do art stuff. You know. It's all that practice, look, look guys. Look that, guys. It only, it only took a year. And a half. <laughs> Not a half yet. Roughly. A year and a quarter. We'll, we'll get there. Oh, well, maybe a half. I think it is a half. Almost a half. Because July, right? So, not a half yet. Yeah. Well, yeah. July is the seventh month, not the sixth. So, technically not half. Yeah. Look, it's badass. Spin it some more. Oh god, that's not the spin one. Woo! Woo! woo. It's not centered. Oh. Maybe that's more centered now. There it is. There, I'm spinning it. Nobody get sick. Alright. There's your swish, swish, swishing. Thank you, Mason. I'm proud of me too. It's hard, man. Like it, it like like you don't think about it, but it, it's hard. It's it's a lot of brain power. <laughs> I'm sorry, JB. <laughs> I was worried about that, but. <laughs> If that's your mood, problem solved! Yeah, there you go. Exactly. Problem solved. <laughs> Boom, there we go. Boom, there it is. Alright, add glow. What? Pain. <laughs> I- oh my oh, god. Geez. Watch, if I- if I reset rotation, it's almost the same. Amazing. And I did good. That's beautiful. I love that spin. That was such an aesthetically pleasing spin. I'm glad. Oh, I'm on the right amazing. thing. I am on the right tool. I wonder, could you turn it into a GIF that constantly spins it around? Yeah. Because that would really sell that uh, steam element. <laughs> I probably won't, though. It's too much work. Oh, Dichotomy, you and I are of the same mind. I I'm, thought the spin was so cool. I'm a lazy artist. Whoa, what the? What are you doing? Don't let anybody tell you that Ori's not a lazy artist. Ori's a very lazy artist. Get out of the trash can. There's nothing in there, I promise. You're lying. I, there, there really is. Make isn't. a good loading icon? Oh, I'm glad. Uh, right? It's like that spinning loading ball. I really want to do really. I keep. I follow this one artist on Instagram where their whole thing is making like stream overlays and stuff, like whole packs and everything. And I'm just like, envy. I want to make that happen. But then on top, but it's like, no, no, no. How to do this is with like a program that is an Adobe program. And I'm like, yeah, no. No. That's like one day. We don't like perhaps. Adobe here. It's more like I'm a person that even if I we had the money to like burn, is just like, oh, I could totally do that myself. Because, you know, to be honest, I probably could. Would it be as good right away? Definitely not. But would it be exactly what I wanted? Yeah, I could get there. But one, you have to get there. And two, <laughs> d programs. Yeah. And three, money. Well, the idea is I'd be saving me. It's like, ugh, I really, 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 really want to rig a VTuber avatar. Like, really, mm. really bad. You tricked them, dudes? I don't doubt that. How did you trick them? Wait, 
How? Did I Did miss something? Did you not spend points, Jamie? Damn. Oh, oh well. Whoop. <laughs> Well, there you go. <laughs> I'm sorry to break it to you, Jamie. But there has been a refund. <laughs> a refund? Add points in those. I think that's how it's spelled. Hold on. That's a fine. I, I am so confused. And those with three Z's. How three, how were points accidentally lost? No, that there's just been a refund. Why? I think I missed something. <laughs> and those didn't mean to uh, redeem the points, so there has been a refund. Oh, oh, I see, I see. Okay. I'm sorry, Jamie. Oh, I guess it's attention o'clock. <laughs> Kitty. I don't know. Can She's so close to my mic. Can you guys hear the purring? No. We almost oh, never okay. hear you. She is very loud to me. I am giving Pat's dichotomy. I am giving full pets and... And uh, now she's standing on my keyboard. Okay. <laughs> uh, all the kitties say hi. If, if it's going atten if it's going to be attention o'clock, you need to behave. I that never agreed to that contract. She says that is the stipulation. Violet says Violet. <laughs> Violet. <laughs> Hello, Violet. Hello, V. Or Vi. Probably Vi. <laughs> it's actually going to be Misty's adoption day soon. Aww. Yeah. We got her in December. So, so funny. I, I Even though technically what I call my dog's birthday is her adoption day, I it's still her birthday. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it was funny because my two cats I had before Misty came to live with us. Yeah, it's we like kind of V is in V lit. I got we you. Had, we had no idea when they were born because they were strays. Like, there was nothing to go off of. They DM'd me, Jamie. This cat was a kitten and very tiny when we found her. This cat was yeah, bigger, so she's probably an adult. <laughs> <laughs> we just made their birthdays like literally the time of year that we found them. I wouldn't have so refunded if they didn't say anything. So both of them ended up being in fall because that's when we found them. I see. This is the only December birthday we've had. Riley was adopted by my cousin first, and so then we got her. So we followed the adoption date of my cousin, but it also happened to be my birthday, so it works oh, out. Oh, that worked out very nicely. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. I think maybe they were just testing it out. I don't know, but they DM'd me, so. Some people like to hang on to them points. Indeed. I know Jonam is a point hoarder, and no one's beaten oh, him yet yeah. still, so... <laughs> Which is honestly heckin' wild. I I think Dylan and I are Yeah, top, you and right? Dylan don't really count, default. if I'm being honest. And I, like... That's valid. If Dylan wouldn't throw a fit, I would, like... Like make you guys not part of the leaderboard, but he'd be very, very sad if I did that. <laughs> and so I won't, because I want him to be happy. But yeah, you guys are kind of like required to be at stream a certain amount, so I was like... Why would enthuse be a gray area? Because they're a mod? That, that's not how it works. Mods are not forced to be at our streams in any way. Enthuse oh, no. wants to be here. We don't yeah. hold them hostage. Enthuse is a mod, but so is Grenade and Hunter and uh, 
John him. Do it any season like six to No, he would be so upset. <laughs> I won't do it. I refuse. I, I there might be a way to take him off the leaderboard. I'd have to check that. I feel like there is a way. But But I certainly don't know it. You can check it in a second. It would be hilarious. He would literally kill me. Well, he wouldn't actually. He could try, but it would be annoying. He would the annoying level would go up. And you know what? I love him, but I can only take so much. <laughs> okay. Beautiful. All right. Now, one last debate. If we want to add some effects. Hmm. <laughs> this Ooh, is I love this mist surrounding it. Well, that's what I'm saying. Gotta gotta get the steam in there. And then what if I do one of these with some of this? Ooh. I do like that. All right. And then I'll do, ooh, let's see if I can do one more thing. Make this bigger. Multiply. Filter blur. Enhance. Not enhance. <laughs> you said make larger. Yeah. Not that's zoom is enhance. All right. Uh, I think there we are. Surprisingly complete. Which I did not expect it to be tonight. Lovely. <laughs> Meh. Fit ring. I'm glad, Dichotomy. Now let's see. Thank you, Nicole. Let's see if we can take Dylan off the leaderboard. We will take Mars off the leaderboard too, then. <laughs> yeah, I definitely don't do anything with the points. Nor do I deserve them. Well, you know, it's supposed to be in, you know, incentive for chillin'. Yeah, but that works for other people. What does this do? Okay, Mars, I'm gonna do a test with you. Okay. Yeah, no, it'll reset your points. Hmm. It reset my points? No, if I do, if I try to take you guys off the leaderboard, it, re it resets your points. Oh, okay. And that's not what I want to do. Hmm. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't I can't remove you guys from the leaderboard without removing your points. Ah. Oh. Very sad. Very sad indeed. I'm also very sad because I would work on mouths, but that's a secret. <laughs> Tis very lovely indeed. It's so funny because of the dark background. No yeah. worries, Dichotomy. So glad that you could make it to the end with the, the thing, though. Yeah. 
I was like, it's really cool that you finished in this amount of time. I am very surprised myself. I mean, works for me because, you know, nice. <laughs> But uh, definitely surprised. I'm glad you enjoyed the stream dichotomy. Thank you, as always, for tuning in. No, I don't want to save it as a JPEG. I want to save it as a clip studio file. And then I want to save it as a PNG. Mm. They're very important distinctions. These are very important distinctions. And then I will do stats. one with the background. Oh, what kind of background? Just this dark one, so people can see it. Ah, it is very needed. <laughs> okay, my kitty has... <laughs> that is that. true, Jamie. You yeah. could do that. <laughs> <laughs> that is a possibility. If if that's what you wanted to do, Jamie. I mean, we wouldn't stop you, per <laughs> se. I'm pretty You're sure tempted. we we decide that money goes into advertising for outcasts. Yeah, essentially every money we make, yeah, because all, all of Kofi money goes into advertising for outcasts. This would go into something stream related. Mars and I last time we got we got like fifty dollars. Well, last time from we stream, paid for uh, we got Jackbox party Steam eight. games. Yeah. yeah. Good night, Mason. Thank you for hanging out. Good night, out. Mason. Ugh. Love seeing you. We can't Take exit care. without Have a good opening night. something else. Oh, the struggle is very real. Well, if I exit, then then the mouths happen, and we're not we're not doing that. Well, we're we're not quite ready for mouths. It's too Hello, much cool for our cat. to comprehend. No, hey, a, a cool cat. They're secret for me for later. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I guess we'll work on shading. Because shading's lazier than lines. Yeah, Mars, would you would you use your points to show them what cheese juice or nasty does? Oh, happily. I just have to type exclamation point cheese, right? Yep. Or is it cheese explanation? It's just ex it's exclamation point cheese. I just I typed chests. Yeah, don't do that. I, it'll do Hold nothing. On, don't do it yet. Oh, crap. Oh, no, it did it. It happened. Never mind. I was worried it wasn't going to happen. It happened. <laughs> Jamie, I, I, I will, I'm going to say I highly don't encourage this, but I would not be upset. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Jamie, it's at your discretion. If this is what you want to do with your $63, I have zero qualms with that. But I would not be the one saying, I will not encourage you to do it. Let's, That's also very true, Jamie. Does. And that is cheaper than, you know, than a full commission. Because obviously steps are excluded in the full, you know. That's very true. Because, yeah, honestly, the most time is spent is like, you know, going back and forth usually. You don't. You, how many would you get out of that? Three, a little less than three. Mm. What the juice? Just about, I think. I think that evens out. What the juice? I unironically shouted that. Oh my god! When somebody cut me off in traffic. Oh my god! That was literally when we were in like the depths yeah, you of would. Randy Cunningham. Like we were actually actively watching uh -huh. the show. Uh huh. I was actually pulling away from your house, Ori, and somebody cut me off at that first turn where the library I'm waiting. is. Oh, okay. And I literally shouted, "What the juice!" I'm waiting. <laughs> Unironically. <laughs> I'm waiting for Mars. I'm waiting for when you say, "Sweet baby corn." Yeah, that'll be the next. We're waiting one, for that. It? Yeah, yeah, that's definitely Sweet the next. Baby one. corn. Or just corn. Oh, corn! <laughs> no, I don't. I don't think I just do oh corn. Uh, she says it though. Like that, she does say that. That would though. take. That would take some doing. She does say that though. Uh, there. That they they constantly like talk about it though. Like, what's with the corn? Why does she? <laughs> it's great. Because she's a Disney character, she cannot curse. She cannot curse. Honestly, my favorite. Is Gumball's What the What, though. 
uh, to me yeah. that just that just I, is I just like perfect. What the what. I love what the what. It's just it's so close, yet definitely not, and it's just good. I don't know where uh, I got this. From. Five extra dollars. I said JP. it a ton in high school. Said it a bit in undergrad. Didn't say it so much in graduate, but I did say it the other day because my filter was actually gone. I was so tired. Said what the what? But no, not oh. what the what. The for some reason I I don't know where I heard this phrase or if I just came up with my with it myself. I started saying the who and the where did what now. <laughs> Like, does that sound like something familiar? Yes, does it does. Like show we watch? Where I don't did that know come if it's from? a show. Um, look at that. Look at that, Jamie. Oof. Jamie knows how to redeem. You get extra art of Augustus. You already got one art of Augustus. Mm. No, seriously, where did that phrase come from? When did I start saying that? I don't know. Here, say I mean, I know again. when I started saying that, but what, like, where did it come from? So what, what is it? Say, say it one more time. The who and the where did what now? The who or the and who the in the where, where did what now? Did what now? Question mark. It's like the who and the where did what? You're now? talking yourself into this. <laughs> it is. It is cheaper. Decisions, decisions, Jamie. <laughs> Did what now? Quote. And now the jokes become too real. And too tempting. No, it's not coming up. Get yarn. Faculty room door. No, cool cat. You want to hear the most painful one? So, I had, well, yeah, have. Have you seen still, still have. any of the Trolls movies? Uh, just the one, but I definitely was saying it way before that. Okay. Because that's, that's the first thing that comes up that's the closest. I did what in the who now? That That's a troll no, movie No, that, that's thing. not it. Yeah, Mine is specifically know. the who and the where did what now? Yeah. It definitely is one of those, like... Uh... It's yeah. definitely one of those, like, like you know, like, like it, it rings a bell, but don't know what it is. Cool cat, you are going uh, to love this one. So, I I have a little brother. And you can't when we leave were us growing hanging, up, Jamie. I could not uh, curse in front of him. I, I ah. couldn't even say the word damn or, or like shut up, like the really vanilla ones. So my family and I had to come up with alternatives for when we were frustrated. My mom's go-to was son of a monkey muffin. I don't know where it came from. I don't know if it's from a show, a movie, if it's entirely self-made, but she started saying that. And then I started saying that. Your mom says it too? This reminded where, me of something. Where did it come from? Aw. So oh, son, son of a monkey then. Okay. Uh, no, no, my mom is specifically son of a monkey muffin. This... And, and I'll say it too. I'll literally be like, son of a monkey muffin? I've also, I, I do know where this one came from. Another one of my uh, go-tos, my, me and my mom, is, oh, crap on a cracker. Yes, no, that, no, okay. That comes from an episode of The Middle. That I know is... where that one came from. No, 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 no. that existed way the before that, two, though. But... I have no goddamn hold on, idea. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So my dad and I loved to play the We Play Tanks, right? So the We Play game, Tanks, right? It's a great game. Love playing it with my dad. Lots of fun memories. He once said, and again, very similar to Mars's family, like, we didn't curse. You couldn't curse in front of me, and I didn't curse. And so my father said, crud on a cracker. And now my mom, in the dining room of our house, instead of the living room where we were sitting, said, um, said, what? Don't say that. And he's like, what? I, like, I didn't say it. I said, crud on a cracker. And she goes, I thought you said, <laughs> what is it? I thought you said, Crack on a cracker. <laughs> she tried to say crap on a cracker, but she said crack on a cracker. 
<laughs> and she hysterically burst out laughing. And again, I'm like single digits year old. And so I had no idea what's what's happened. You know, I'm like, no idea what's happening. Oh, yeah. You're just like, words are words. I'm just like, these are words. You just say them, right? Yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't curse oh, at God. all until um, Dylan likes to claim oh, that he is the one that got me to curse. I like didn't curse at all. I was definitely like, you know, I'm the one. I'm the friend who doesn't curse. You know, I'm a little goody two shoes. You know, I'm not cursing. Yep. La 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 Same la. Here. That was me all throughout. Dylan tried school, really hard to get me to curse because his family does curse like a sailor like i went to like you know i would sit at their house at dinner and him his father his brother like constantly just you know fuck shit like the whole the whole dinner and i was like this is way different than my family gatherings this is kind of wild um and i had to say like dylan like you can't say that in front of my parents like you can't like don't do that you know like at the beginning of relationship, it was like don't you know just be polite don't say that thing my mom will gasp and clutch her pearls like don't do it and um I make a good impression. So he, I definitely started swearing more, and then I went to college, and I don't know what it was. College really changed. But college, you. man, I was, I sweared so much. I said like fuck every other word. I definitely like cursed the most. And everyone, my friend, it was just like freedom. I don't know what it was. It it really was, cause it it's so funny. So. The way I curse is interesting. If I have just met you, I'm not going to curse. If I've known you for a couple weeks, I am not going to curse. If we are friends, I may slip in a light curse, but I won't go for a straight F-bomb. If I feel very comfortable with you, I will curse like this a sailor. Is like, okay, I gotta tell this story now. These, these are the persona my, unlock friendship level. My father <laughs> is recently retired. When I curse in front of you, that means I am your best friend. So, so guys, ready for the story? My father is recently retired. And so Mars has been coming over to my house for our anime weekly, you know, tea times for before, significantly before my father ever retired. And so my father is home and he's in the basement of the house. And the way that my house works is you, you walk in the front door and then there's like, you can follow the corridor into the kitchen. And right there, right after you enter into the kitchen is a little couple, two stairs down, and then you turn and that's the basement, right? So the basement is right there. There's no door. You can hear everything that anybody's saying in the thing. Mars had a rough day with her, like her mom had a rough day. She was having a rough day. She was having a rough day. She comes in the door. Yeah. <laughs> My father's in the basement, and immediately Mars comes in and she just curses. <laughs> fucking hell, what the shit! I can't believe they fucking did it. I'd like, like loudly because she thought she didn't think about like my. I'm just like sitting there, like, yeah, my dad came. <laughs> I know. Why did you tell me? Because you were, you were, you were so like in it, right? He doesn't actually care. He thinks it's oh very funny. No, no, he came up the stairs, and you, you saw him. But he thinks it's very funny. But so after that, he was why like, do I have no recollection of this? I don't know. I don't know. Oh God! It, 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 it's, it was the first thing with the bus and your brother is what happened, and you like came bus in and, and my brother. Yeah. He had the bus incident. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was yeah. back in spring. Oh yeah. god. So you were yeah, so I upset. I remember that one. And and just coming in, and my father's home. We, no, he wasn't retired. He was working from home. That's what it was. And so he's in the basement. Right. Because I started coming over Tuesdays instead yeah, of Wednesdays. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And Our so, schedule had changed. And so it was just like, I don't want to interrupt her because she's having a rough time. And my father really doesn't matter. But it's really hilarious that he's totally here in all of this. I hope he's <laughs> I not on a conference he call. <laughs> and he wasn't. And he's telling me later, he's like, he's like, oh he's like is Mars shit. okay? And I'm like, yeah, she, she was in a rough day. <laughs> like all right great my you know, next time preface that with hey my father's home and in the basement 
I didn't get a chance to. You literally came in the door ranting. Like I didn't, I didn't, like I was in the kitchen making food. I didn't open the door oh for you. You God. came in and you're like, Ori, you gotta hear about this shit. I can't, I'm sorry, I'm fucking late. I hate it. <laughs> no, I, I do remember what happened. Cause it was one of those mornings where I like, I, I kind of stayed behind a little bit to make sure my family was Yeah, okay, exactly. Like, and so I wasn't going to interrupt oh you. You needed to vent. It was fine. Next time interrupt me. <laughs> Again, my father doesn't care. Mars was <laughs> having a day. Uh, no, my I favorite was having a day. My favorite story with my father was that is that um my first year I went away to college, I still had my like part-time job and so like when you come home for like Christmas break, they like want to put you on. So I was working Christmas Eve at like 8:30 in the morning and I like was not used to getting up so early you know it had been crisp it had been winter break and so i slept through my alarm and i was not going to be late i was just you know had to rush now so my my father is the one who wakes me up he like comes in and he's like he's like ori you know you gotta get up you have work and i was like i bolted up right and said fuck and i like i was like leave i gotta get changed now we gotta go and I it like literally just came out of my mouth, right? When, when, when it just like, you know, you wake up, you realize it's late. I just went, fuck, and like moved on. Yep. My father thought that was absolutely hilarious because at this time, again, I had just gone away to college. So I had just started like actually cursing. So I'm sitting here in my head, it's like, oh God, I just cursed in front of my parents. Like, I did not mean to do that, but like, this was You're a moment. Kill me when my I father thought it was hilarious. <laughs> See, that's the funny thing. I never thought that my parents would actually be like upset about it. Like they would just be disappointed. Right, you know, like they'd just be like, "You don't say those things," you know, I like you don't say that stuff. I knew how my parents would react. I think. Well, so my I father think I just knew, like, well, God, it's like God they don't do it. Do it Why am I not? Yeah, like, I should not do it, right? Exactly. But so my father told my mom in like jest, right? Like he thought I it was hilarious. So much now. He thought it was hilarious. I still don't swear in front of my parents i try really my father he's he's a lot more like he'll say fuck in front of me every once in a while so i'll say fuck in front of him every once in a while but it's still like mm -hmm. like a like a big word you know what i'm saying like it's still like mm -hmm. if it's if you like using it loosely like a lot of our generation does is still like oh, no yeah. like don't do that um but stuff like my grandmother <laughs> very much enjoys the word later. shit she really likes that word. So there's a certain point in my life when all of us grandkids were like old enough in her mind where she's like, yep, now I can say shit. <laughs> so she would say that a lot and that's where I learned about shit. But um, yeah, so he told my mom and my mom is like, comes, you know, to me after work and she's like, so I heard you said the F word this morning. And I was like, and my father's in the car. He's like, I didn't say it to scold her. <laughs> it was just funny. <laughs> <laughs> he's like looking at me he's like I'm so sorry Ori like I didn't mean for this to happen like, this way I didn't mean for you, for you to get in trouble yeah I, I didn't actually get I in trouble like a, hey look at what our kid did ha -ha, yeah so, ha -ha, funny. so funny you know she was so stressed when she woke up this morning oh that literally my dad dang Jamie so he, he sometimes picked me up from uh, middle school at the end of the day and you know kids kids do what kids do once that bell rings we all go outside and we're like chilling on the front by the flagpole but um people talk and people knew curse words because pretty much everyone in my middle school and this was confirmed did indeed watch south park and family guy damn so they they knew pretty much the entire uh book of swears mm -hmm. my dad <laughs> picks me up from school that day as soon as I get in the car, like, you know, I approach the car, I'm like, Hi, hey, uh, how's it going? Like, did you have a good day at school? Yeah, I had a good day. Okay, great, get in the car. I get in the car. As soon as that door closes, he turns to me and he goes, why is everyone cursing? Do you know what your classmates are saying? I take <laughs> one step onto this campus and I feel like I'm at the docks. Because they're cursing like sailors. He was so <laughs> baffled <laughs> by the language oh coming out of these 10 to 13 year olds. That's so funny. I don't remember middle school it being very crazy. potty mouth, but high school definitely. Oh, my middle school was so potty mouth. 
My middle high school, school definitely. was so damn high. We went to the same the middle school. Why do I not remember this? Yes, yes, yeah, we did. did? Actually. I know, I know. It's I elementary met you school. in middle school. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I know, I know. It's the elementary school where we were separated. Just didn't know what that meant. Oh my god. I would be yeah, mortified no, I, if I, I played Cards Against Humanity with my family. Until high school. Honestly, but I'll... then it got even funnier. Mm -hmm. Because uh, last story and then we'll yeah, move no, no, on. No, I promise. On. It it's funny because in high school, I like I started to curse a bit more, but I didn't do it often. So when yeah. I said, like when I started cursing more, my entire friend group was like, "Whoa, Mars is cursing! What the hell? I've never heard you say that before." And I'm like, I don't know why that really got to me because I was like. I can say words just like you. What makes me different from you guys? What makes you think I can't be on your level? What makes this so hilarious and what made me like kind of flash back to this moment is literally just the other day, I was hanging out uh, it, at, at Damn, my school Jamie. because that is where most of my life is spent nowadays. And, you know, I'm just like ranting, talking. Uh, I'm, I'm talking with some of the other people in my program. And, you know, I, I slip an F-bomb. And they stare at me like, damn, I've never heard you curse before. I'm like, really? This, this is the first time I've done it? You sure? And like, yeah, I've never heard you drop an F-bomb. I'm like, oh, great. Deja freaking vu all over again. But it, but it really is true. As soon as I start to feel comfortable with people, that's when I start cursing. <laughs> I think it's funny that that was your experience versus my experience was that oh when ori curses she means business this is like my, oh god my experience was basically oh look at little baby mars she's using grown-up words isn't that cute i was like i will end you i think i, I will admit I will mars end you. i think it worked in my favor i am the knight that i had a very sudden growth spurt in like 10th grade and i was no, like the it, tallest it people i hung out with yeah exactly My shortness does not help so me. that was like Everyone oh they're like cute versus like an angry puffed up tall kitten. ori is like oh shit like she means business oh. no when if i get angry it's really awkward oh <laughs> you need if Character. i am ever truly angry you need to run in the other direction <laughs> I have been told I am terrifying when I am actually fully angry. Uno does ruin friendships. But Uno I, does. I couldn't imagine playing Cards Against Humanity with my family. Honestly, if I'm being honest, I've out of all the card games, I don't like it. Once. You, I've only played it once. I, My friends got, got it in high school. My group of friends got it in high school. And that's all they wanted to play. And if I'm being honest... I got sick of it really fast <laughs> because sure, it was definitely you get to like memorize the cards and it's like it's oh yeah it says this it's just phrase. like I don't know I, like 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 I, I just got tired of it you know like like because because what is the goal right the goal is to be like the the lutist or the girl like it was just like it, you know like I don't find these funny anymore you know like I don't find like the answers that are it's not funny you know I don't know mm. it's just Maybe we played it, they played it too much, maybe. But I remember specifically multiple times being like, I don't want to play this. And that's saying something, because I fucking love card games, man. I fucking love it's Basically card games. overexposure. But it was definitely just like, that game is like, I, I don't enjoy. <laughs> Goals, you were just I playing did, it wrong. I, I will admit. Cards Against Humanity was very funny. Like, I was laughing my ass off when I was playing it with my, uh, my friend group. I will say that my group of friends in high school ended up being very odd <laughs> in what they did. <laughs> There's a reason okay. that I really only talk with Mars now. I recently uh, did meet up and go to a party that was hosted by a friend that I uh, had in high school. And so that was interesting. And that was, that was oh. fun. That was nice. I always find it so interesting to see where the people from high school are nowadays. It's just kind of wild. Without going she has to a, a boyfriend school, and a house. That's awkward. Wait, like a whole house? Yeah, like a whole house, ten minutes from my the, house. With a mortgage and everything? Yeah, yeah. 
A whole house. They're engineers, Damn. okay? Oh, <laughs> they okay. make the okay. monies. Both of them. <laughs> Gotta I play cards are preferences. Money. <laughs> well, yeah, but they always picked, like... Like, I don't know. I was not funny in the way that they wanted to be funny, I guess. It's just not It's not a game for me. I was definitely more of an apples-to-apples -apples person, because to me there was variety. Oh, you know? What about Bananagrams? We played that religiously oh, God. in middle school. Oh, no! My mic stand has come off my desk, so I will be oh, muted for a moment while I fix that. Okay. Uh, I shall keep you guys entertained, then. Maybe she did have the, the wrong group, Jamie. You know, it, it depends on who you're playing with. I <laughs> I remember going in, like, we, we were going, I think it was, like, counterclockwise or something, just around the circle. And when it got to my turn and I had to, like, pick whose card was the funniest, I could barely speak. I was laughing so hard, it was just, like, that breathy noise. Like, that wheezing laugh. <laughs> that doesn't even sound like a laugh. It just sounds like the person is dying and I gasping returned. for air. I know exactly um, the laugh. I was laughing that way the other day at Ace Attorney, I think, if I remember correctly. Oh, you definitely were. You most definitely but, were. Yeah, it, it is a vibe check, Jamie. I haven't played it, obviously, in a very long time. But I will say that my group of friends in high school did end up being the very classically wanted to be stereotypical high school students in, like, the aloe way. Right, like mm. in like the aloe way. And I was obviously not that. So it was very much, it's like, no. Weird. <laughs> super fight, we have super fight, cool cat. We stopped playing super fight just because judging is really hard. And I will say that people like Dylan and his brother Doug, uh, they get really into it. No, no, no. Sex jokes 100% make me laugh if I get them. Sure, but I'm talking to, like, like, this group of friends were like the, yeah, we do truth or dare with, like, seven minutes in heaven, and all the dares are, like, to kiss people. And it's just like, where, I went where, to this party because my friends are here, but now I get to sit in a corner and watch, like, a, like a soap opera. <laughs> Like, great. We're having and then the friend where, let's talk about our kinks yeah. and share them with everyone. God. And let's, let's talk, talk about, about how we watch things together at other sleepovers. And it's just like, mm, okay, yeah. yeah it, mm -mm. Mm -mm. What, what was even worse is like, and not not to like bring the mood down or anything, but it's <laughs> like you just feel so like the odd man out when that happens. Because like, I have had no experience because I've had no desire. I have no, uh... It's just like, even if I had experience, I no don't want to talk like, about it. Why, wouldn't why are you that? talking about it? Like, this is weird. Like, I don't know. I <laughs> Nobody asked the question. College who was See, so, that's a vibe I needed at the time. Like, Jamie. she shared every single part of her... Like, you could figure everything. out... Ugh. Like, just, just everything. Pain. Everything. And I, I will say, like, I listened. I was supportive. <laughs> I was, was a supportive good. friend. I sat there. I was a supportive friend. Yeah. I was also learning quite a bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's definitely the vibe. A lot of bit. <laughs> Honestly, it felt like a class. I felt like I should have been taking notes. Oh, my God. And then I realized two years later, mm, yeah, I, I don't think that's for me. Bad notes. May maybe with the right Oh, person. that's very nice. See, that's the friend I have the now, Jamie. There. See, Mars and I found each other, and, and now now that's what we do. We don't watch Chainsaw Man, though. She watched it. I haven't. I don't. Honestly, I, I don't have an interest in Chainsaw I got, Man. I gotta be so honest and come at me if you want. Chainsaw Man, I think the hype killed it. They built oh. it up so much as this next big amazing thing, and season one just left me so feeling like, wow, nothing happened, and all the quote-unquote important episodes were like left to the end, and I'm really not interested in pursuing this any further, which really sucks because I know it's supposed to be really freaking good and it's supposed to be this example of like modern contemporary storytelling and wibbly wobbly i mean why in time not i think there's a timeline thing that goes on but it's oh, supposed God. to be like really good foreshadowing really good plot development really like like denji breaks in the same way yuji breaks apparently Ooh. so it's like one of those shows and i was so ready to like it but 
the episodes left me disappointed and then just the main character's fixation on sex is yeah that that not, really turns me up a lot it's not a turn off for me because i see what they're doing denji is so touch star <laughs> and so deprived of affection that he's just seeking it out and like he he's basically obsessed he he's addicted he's seeking touch in any way he can and for a teenage boy like it makes sense but do i want to see that and hear about that not really mars and jamie says sh you shouldn't have become a writer your standards no. are too high you know what maybe they are <laughs> I don't think it's too much to ask my characters to not make that their defining personality. Trait. I don't think her standards are too high. I just think that she has very specific tastes because I don't I don't think I, I'd like this show either, if I'm being honest. I just think it's it's not for me. I will say I love the opening. Power is a freaking vibe. I Mars dressed up as power is. for Halloween last year. Last year? I did dress up as power last year. Yeah. I think she's a very cool character. I love how she doesn't conform to the like the the constraints of femininity like she she is a cool character and honestly we are getting so many good female characters in anime recently like holy crap we okay guys watch moriarty the patriot please god <laughs> moriarty irene slash i won't say it because it is a great reveal irene is great irene is great irene adler jamie great. i think you will agree irene adler has the gender Yes. Oh. <laughs> All the gender. We want that. Irene Irene has you has get you a person who can do both. Yeah, really though. Irene has all baby. the gender. <laughs> Irene kicks so much ass. Is there a picture of Irene? Okay. We'll look at we'll look at both Irene's. Irene. Uh do you want to? I mean it is kind of a reveal. I think it's fine. Alright, it's been out long enough. You guys have Irene had time Adler. to watch it. Moriarty. The if you feel Patriot. spoiled, this is your own fault. Okay, let's let's get the good two ones. Okay, okay, okay. But I hope you are having fun with Chainsaw Man, Jamie. It it's very well animated. It is very well animated, and the freaking effort to make every single ending different for each episode. Like I gotta be honest, I would watch Chainsaw Man just for those ending credits. They're so surreal. They're so artistically okay, Jamie. thought out. This is Irene as You're we incredible. see her originally. And then, and then we get this Irene later on. And we also get her dressing as a man at other points in time. And it's just, it's just good shit. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just good Ugh. shit. Yeah, that's what I said, Just Jamie. Just good shit! Good I'm shit! Sure, the good I shit! Said to good Ori man! Day, oh, good crap, man. I am both gay and straight for Irene. There you go. Very gender. See what I'm saying? Very everybody gender. here. I love everybody very, in this chat. Gender. All the gender. Need the gender. Just they are thank very you for hot. the gender. Also, the character they end up working with has, like, it's not. The official, gender! But there's definitely an awakening happening Look there. At the gender! <laughs> so few Ugh. that is what i want i need this i want to pull off the long hair and the dresses but i also want to pull off the short hair and the shoes like and the I suits need it like both. give me that please Let me that's have what both. i want to be no Ugh. any literally any female cosplayer or like you know like like a like a assigned female birth cosplayer that then oh, also I does hot do. anime guys is like that's that's what I want in life. Like that literally. I know, right, Nicole. Nicole. Like, yes. It's also, so good. She, kick, kick she so kicks ass. ass. She's literally, super smart. Literally She's literally like treat me as a man. As a man. Oh my god. She does the meme where the foot slams against the wall to a certain Oh dominant. my god, yeah. And does I that. was just like, she also well, like literally I'm, goes I'm in two seconds from like flirting with a guy to flirting with the wall like really fast like just yeah, yeah. we're just everyone no, literally, come here like get, oh, get some of me I'll name oh. this drink after you guy oh don't worry lady get behind me I'll yeah. protect you it's like so good she 
they can do both. Ugh, it's so <laughs> They can do both, good. and it's amazing. Ugh. Also, guys, Moriarty, I went on a rant about this with Ori earlier today. Moriarty is a series that uses every single side character. No character yeah, I know, I need the gender. goes wasted. I need her like, gender everyone so has a purpose. Everyone is used. No one is sidelined. It's so damn good, you guys. Watch Moriarty the Patriot. Please, please, please. It's so good. I need this It's only to grow. two seasons. It's fantastic. We're not the finished yet, but it's been amazing. We're not finished yet. We're, oh, we're getting, we're getting there. there. We're I'm really loving close. the ride. Yeah. But yeah, no, no, no. Literally, there's, like, all of the cosplayers I follow are, are literally aside female of Earth people who then just also hella fucking rock the male characters. I'm just like, woof. Oh, I really gotta brush up give. on my makeup skills. It's all about those contours. That's the contour. And then there's one, there's the one I've shown you that does like hot, like Waluigi and everything, a hot Mario. Oh, yeah. And she is just <laughs> epic as hell. But she, ha so she has like the silicone, like, like, like pecs and ab thing. And so it's just like, yes, thank you. Oh. <laughs> Please. <laughs> See, I knew everyone in chat is like, in yes, ace. give the gender. I'm going to have to turn in my ace card if I keep going. <laughs> Hot water, right, we do, okay. Do we, we gotta... show it? Is yeah. this how we end stream? This is how we end stream. This is how we end stream with Hot Waluigi. We will give you this okay, gift, you courtesy two. of us. I believe it is... Wow. You, you shall Lu see, Jamie. You shall see. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I found it. This is the one I've seen, so I'm assuming. Pause, though. Pause, pause, pause. Stop. Pause. Thank you. <laughs> this is the hot Waluigi. <laughs> Like, like, I'm sorry. Can I have the gender? <laughs> it's too, it's too good. Like, oh my It's God. too good. That's a fucking silicone body. <laughs> like, it's impressive. Like, God. Damn. Jesus. Uh. <laughs> Waluigi. Wow, Waluigi. <laughs> Prefer Rosalina? Well, she does do Rosalina as well. I, I think it's the face because the mustache it's, and is the just eyes, so dramatic. And the eyes. This is not what I wanted. Dino. It's it's hard bringing and a cartoon Dino. character to life. <laughs> Word cosplay picks coming up soon, though. I'm going to take more in my garden tomorrow. It provided it's nice out. I hope it's nice out. I have to feel bad. I mean, Nicole, they did, they did right by Link. You know, I'm just, yeah. they did right by Link, and you know what? I can accept. <laughs> I can accept. But uh, what was I gonna say? I have lost I my train know. of thought. All of the trains of thought. But yes, Irene Adler in Mario the Patriot is all the gender. All of the gender. Go watch the show. We it's really good. Screaming. It's fantastic. Please if you like mysteries, if you love it's Death amazing. Note, if you like mysteries. Yeah, if, if you, you like, like Sherlock at all. Heroes. Yeah, it's great. It's all great. It's all good stuff. Also, this has. This is what I'm saying. Link is ever. also gender. Link you is know? very gender. Link is very gender. But, uh, I think that is well, it. Well, we've done enough exposing ourselves, <laughs> haven't we? I feel like once we did the second Smasher Pass, there's no going back. So, you know, there's not like a oh, lot Oh, they know our type. Yeah, exactly. exactly. There's no hiding it. So, uh, and we all agreed a lot on the second Smasher Pass, which I'll never get over. But it'll be a while until that video comes out. But, uh, Indeed. all right, guys. Thank you all for hanging out on this wild stream. I can't believe that I completely finished the Mephit ring. That's pretty wild. Not gonna lie. Um, that was awesome. I think that is it. 
Uh, new well, Ace Attorney video week. came out today. It was a redirect. Even if you don't like Ace Attorney, even if you don't follow us on Ace Attorney, like Ace Attorney stuff, honestly, watch the videos. Oh, They're fucking hilarious. Uh, actually, not sure if chat That's knows also about this. Cat. What? We have a Folding Planets Tumblr uh, um, where we, we are backposting uh, episodes to. And if we you post would like other to follow that, outcast art, if you like. don't like Instagram the place yes. would be Tumblr. So this is another option for you that we are exploring. Um, you know, cool entries cat, update hella vibe, on Mondays. Um, and it'll be consistently every Monday. Yeah. Until it will the be behind though. Itself. Yeah, And it'll always be behind overall. Uh, but yeah, Tumblr. Cool things. Yes. Uh, yeah, go watch the the dub uh, co uh, the comic dubs. Yes, Milano coming Wednesday. soon. I promise. Real Milano soon. Milano coming in two weeks. Real soon. Two weeks. Two weeks. Count them. Less than two weeks. It's gonna uh, be a good thing. I think that is it. Thank you all for hanging out. We'll hope to see you next week. Have a lovely weekend. And uh, yeah, good night. Good night, everyone. We'll see you next 